final edition, the final stream, Sunday afternoon here at the 2023 uh, Florida RV Super Show. And as you can see, we are standing in front of Airstream. You know, there's some people that want to see some Airstream, so we save some of these things to the very end. So without further ado, let me, let me turn this around here and let's get to it. We have somebody who is wanting to see a Bambi 19CB. Okay, you can see there's the MSRP. Right, there's the floor plan. Okay. I'm sure everybody's familiar with Airstream, right? Very classic, right? Airstream's been around forever. There's all kinds of lines from the International, the Classic, the Bambi, the Globetrotter, the Caravelle, all kinds of lines. Now, they are a little bit small, so we're just going to have to wait for a minute to get in there. But we, we do have entertainment while we're here, guys. Look at that. <laughs> so I'll just show you a little from the outside until we can get in there. Okay. Now, these are all one piece. There's no slides, right? I'm sure most people are familiar with, with air streams. Okay. There we go. Oh, you're just fine. Let's go ahead and crawl in there. You have a dinette, okay, and there's storage underneath. All right, and there's there's a tabletop there. And then, uh, let me put my bag here, I think. That converts down to be a bed. Storage up above, and these are sort of roll top, like, you know, the old roll, roll, top, roll top desks. All right, so there's storage cabinets in there. All right, behind me is your sort of kitchenette area. Okay, and so you've got a microwave down there. There's some storage. All right, there's storage here as well. Okay, you have a single uh, bowl sink here. Um, yeah, fully stainless, just like the, uh, well, it's aluminum on the outside. I was going to say stainless. There you go, two burn stove. Get some more roll top up top for storage. All right, which is nice. Okay, yeah, I pointed out the microwave already. Okay. Nice drawer down the bottom. And we have a storage cabinet here. Yep, I'll, I'll get that in just a second. I've already turned around. There's a cabinet here right when you came in. Yeah, and there was nobody here in front of you, so keep doing your stuff. So that <laughs> you can get in way of my pictures, etc. Since y'all are deciding to make too much money on these things anyway. <laughs> not us, my friend, not us. So you doing it All right, so uh, there's some storage above. Always the... getting somebody else's way as you're doing it. We love happy campers. And there's a little mini fridge, okay? Behind, you've got uh, this little storage cabinet that Lisa was trying to show you. It does have a little hanging bar there for hanging clothes, okay? And here you have your sort of vanity. Um, and from a tall man perspective, you know, the, the, the Airstreams are a little different. There's plenty of head height in the center, but as you get to the edges, you see they're sort of curved. So typically the showers are a little challenging for tall people, okay? The beds are always uh, uh, a little bit more compact, okay? And so this has sort of been, oh, I'm trying to get that out. Yeah, it's, try, so you can at least see that it's got like the rounded corner, okay? There is a TV, as you can see, which is on a big arm, which swings out this way. So the TV would be like right here if you were sitting at the dining watching TV. Okay, and this is the bathroom in the shower, and we're going to see if we can get in there. As you can see, it is very, very tight, so we'll hand this to Lisa. So, it might not be tall man approved, but we'll see. All right. Now, I'm sure when you want to close it for privacy, it closes like this. Right? So, there's actually, oh, there's plenty of room in here, Lisa, even with the door closed. <laughs> very nice. Um, uh, you see the, the door when it's closed sits right about there and so even at my height at six foot four there's plenty of room to be sitting on the toilet very right? nice and then ultimately you're in the shower and that in and itself will present a few challenges all right I, I i can't stand all the way up okay spatially there's lots of space in the shower but from a height standpoint 
Um, it's a little, it, well, it's not a little bit challenging. It's challenging. I, I can't stand all the way up. Um, there is a retractable door, right? So you could either sit on the bench if you're my height or just scooch down, okay? So that is the Bambi uh, 19 BC or CB. CB, okay? CB. And I know somebody was looking for that, so that, um, I believe there Angela. you go. Yeah, uh, Lisa thinks that was Angela. Yep, I believe right. so. So we don't have enough time to cover the rest. There's about 40 more of them here. Here's one to look at. And that is over here. It's even more. The base camp. The base camp is incredibly popular, okay? We've got nice Goodyear tires, sort of off-road tires. This is what the base camp looks like from the outside. So you get a full view of it, right? You've got your storage compartment up front, so your propane would go in there. It's got this kind of glass side, which is kind of really sweet, okay? And uh, as soon as uh, we can get in there, we'll go in there for you. Which we, we've yet to video inside. We're inside the expo building. Why don't you wait in line, Lisa? Mm -hmm. and, and we'll walk around a little bit more here when we're done with the base camp. But this is inside the expo building. Um, the actual entrance to the show is right here. This is where most people come in. And so most people you enter through here. Here's all the multi-million dollar coaches. Those are all the Prevos. Multiple different manufacturers. Here's your four which are all in dollar coaches, okay? Um, but it's absolutely beautiful in here. And so we'll see if we can uh, sneak in here at the same time. Yeah, they're in the back. So as you see, when you come in, you have this sort of semi-circle table, which is really sweet. And the table's sort of on this little piston. And so you can just lower it, which also sort of becomes a little bit of a bed, which is sweet. You have some curtains that sort of go up to give you privacy. You have a little sort of, I don't want to call it a cubby, but it's this little sleeve-like thing so you can put stuff up there as well as on this side, okay? Here is your little kitchenette, okay, with your two-burner stove, just like the other one we were in. You've got a round sink in this one, which is a nice deep bowl round sink where somebody put their trash in there, which was real nice. Um, all the cabinet faces uh, they're like like a Lexan, but it's, it's, it looks like glass. It's not. Um, it's a Lexan, but it matches the windows, which are nice. Okay? Uh, and then there's some more here, storage here. And then one more over there. Okay? As you look around, you still have these sort of storage areas all the way around, top and bottom. There's more storage here as well which is behind that same kind of door. It's really nice, chic looking here. Back here is sort of the back. You know what, it almost reminds me of a Class B. Right, the way that yeah, Class Bs that. are set up? Yeah. Um, from a height standpoint, Lisa, I'll have you hold that there. So when I'm right in the middle, I'm pretty good. As you see, it starts to slant as you get to the back. And so I have to duck to get by the air conditioner and then that's it. That's as far as I can go which is fine, okay? Um, this converts to be a bed, this whole area here. When it's not your bed, there's your tables right there, and there's poles or pipes that go in this area down here, and so you can have your dining room table here. So you can have a dining room table there, you got a dining room table there, right? Or maybe this is just a, a um, I don't call it a craft area, but this, maybe this is your office, I don't know, right? And then there's some storage down here. Oh, or access to a tank, well no, it's storage. Okay, really neat, and of course you see there's access from the back, so let's say you're a venturist and you want to go out, you can put your bikes in here, right? So let's get into that bathroom real quick, okay? Now this is a wet bath, all right? The lights are off in there, let's see, can we figure out where the switch is? Nope. So this is an all-in-one, okay? And so from a toilet standpoint, now mind you, this is tiny. I mean, I don't know how long this is, but it's incredibly tiny. So to be this tiny and have really a full bath, which believe it or not, at my height, my feet are just sitting perfect. This is not bad. 
right? Your toilet paper's here. The shower nozzle's up top there, Lisa, right? And believe it or not, there's a little, well, it looks like a, like a place that would be a sink, but there's not. I suppose you could wash your hands or something. I don't know. I would just go to the sink in the kitchen, okay? There is a curtain here, right? As well as there's a mirror mounted here. So if you're doing things that you need the mirror for, brushing teeth or shaving. putting on makeup, shaving, there's the mirror there as well. So mm -hmm. it's though it's very compact, everything is in here. So this is the base camp, all right? What do you all think of that? That's pretty nice. Right? Mm -hmm. Love that. Yeah. So there you go. So there's a, a couple of Airstreams. Again, they make many, many, many different models. And so uh, there's just a couple of them there for you. Um, this being our last stream, we have a lot to cover. And, uh, and so we're going to try to do our best to get as much in there because I think somebody also wants to see uh, Lance. So let's go look at Lance. Everybody say hello to Lance. That's Lance right there. See Lance. How you doing? Our subscribers wanted to see Lance. So Lance. I've taken him to see Lance. Now this is a used model. It is. It's, it's a couple good. miles. Overused, couple miles. It's a couple miles. Right. But well broken in, right? right. No warranty, as is. No, as is, right? right. And, and, but this Lance comes with a couple of amazing Hi, dogs. Montana. Hi, Montana and Annie. Annie. Oh, yes, good. we know both. Yeah, yeah Annie's always excited. Yeah. Hi, Annie. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> All right. Lance, it was good seeing you again. Thank you. Hi, folks. We actually met, <laughs> we actually met Lance years ago. Um, he travels around doing events like this and collect money for um, cancer for dogs. Is it cancer for dogs? Yes. Um, he does it on his own dime. He's not paid to do it. Um, he's got a, a couple of Australian Shepherds. That was Annie in Montana. Both so, so sweet. Um, we've spent a lot of time with them, and, and what's funny, they're, uh, and though Annie was jumping, they're incredibly well trained, um, which is amazing. But what, what I also find equally as amazing is every time I go close, it seems like they forget their training and start going crazy. And uh, so every time I come over, um, I get them in trouble. <laughs> uh, in fact, uh, I went and said hello to them a couple of days ago in between streams. And uh, Annie was up on the table, and they're normally holding like a little card. And as soon as I got close, Annie dropped the card and started, you know, jumping up and kissing me. <laughs> and, uh, and Lance looked, I'm like, I, I don't know what to say, buddy. <laughs> but uh, Annie remembers me. <laughs> Annie loves you. <laughs> well, the reason why Annie loves me is when we first met them, I, I, I gave them a little smoothie I had. It was all fruit. And Lance was, yeah, no, that's cool. You can do that. And... Um, because like I said, we were hanging out with them for a long time. And uh, anyway, she, she that, that dog obviously remembers the smoothie I gave her because every time I come close, she goes crazy. All right, so here is Lance. And what are we looking for here? Oh, we uh, were looking to see the Lance Enduro. It is a debut floor plan. So we Lance wanted to see Enduro. if we could find Enduro. All right, let's see if we can find the Enduro. Can you point us to where the Enduro is? Not here. Not it's not here. here. Okay. Oh, that's a oh no. No, there's another debut that's not here. Okay, so. So many so debuts let's, um, did not make let's, it. Let's, let's just pick one and look at it then, okay? So you can at least see the quality of a Lance. This looks uh, kind of quiet back here, so let's go back here, right? Uh, Lance is sort of an independent, if I remember correctly. These are four season coaches. This is the 2465. Okay, um, look at that, you got a little boot wipe, right? You can clean your feet before you go in. Different type of steps, which are really sweet. You have electronic jacks, or electric jacks, I should say, okay? And you have some covers over the windows. It's partially white, makes it four season, all right? Well, that's locked, so we can't get in there. All right, there's an awning. Let me go back. There's an awning that covers almost the entire side. Right, there's the back, so it goes all the way to the front, okay? There's also a really beefy ladder that goes all the way to the top, okay? So let's go on in, check that out, so you at least can see the quality of this particular Lance. 
Okay, like the design of the floor. And you got this little nice sort of chaise and a couple of seats here. Chaise, chaise lounge. Isn't that nice? It's a chaise lounge. Yeah. All right, little, little shelf reading up there. Light. Yep, reading light. And it's the same on the other side, too. Yeah. Mirror images. Very okay. nice. And uh, here, let me give it, at least sit down. Oh All my right. gosh. Did you sit on this, Lisa? You just sink right down into that. That is so comfortable. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's oh, nice. Oh, can we stay here the rest of the day? No, it'd be so nice. Would you guys it? be upset if we just sat here and talked to you for two hours? <laughs> 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 All right, there is power, by the way, here. Um, 12 volt as well. And it, there's the same on the other side, okay? Um, there we go. We're a nice little uh, banquette. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice little detail lights, too. Yep, with storage underneath. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, yeah. She was talking about the lights. There's the lights. Hang on with the storage. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay. Um, your shades, day and night. So, um, Lisa, just slide it up. So up. You, you, yeah, there you go. You don't have to separate them. You can do them together. So there's your day. There's your night. Okay? Which is really neat. I love that. Okay? Um, the windows here pop out, as you can see. So you have great ventilation in here. Okay, behind Lisa is the entertainment center. So when you're sitting on this nice chaise lounge. <laughs> <laughs> There's a comedy skit where somebody does that. I just forget the name of it. Oh, it's it's a it's a behind the scenes of some rock band touring or whatever. And oh. there was these two guys, their entire job for the tour was to move the chaise lounge. <laughs> uh, it, it was funny, you'd, you'd have to see it. Anyway, you got a fireplace down there, JBL sound system, right? I, you know, I'm digging the floor. I do too. I like it. It's just digging the floor. Yeah, very right. nice. So Lisa's sort of uh, in the kitchen, which as you come in the door coming around the corner, there's a couple hooks so you can put your keys there. Very nice. Maybe you can shove your wallet or whatever up in there too, right? Yeah, sure. Right. So we have solid surface countertops. Solid surface. Look at this nice sink. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Built-in trash. Is, exactly. It's a tiny trash can, but at least it's built in. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, we've got a three burner stove. This is a Suburban. We have an oven here as well. Underneath the sink, we've got some cabinets. Nice. And some drawers on the side here. This has a very European feel to it, okay? Um, I, I have, um, in my life, toured extensively in Europe. And, you know, cabinetry, doorknobs, things like that, they just look and feel different there. This has a very European feel to it. I would kind of agree, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so look at the... The lights the, come on as you open these up. The microwave is hidden. Very nice. Nice feature. Right. Right? Yeah, just look at the, the details on the, the cabinets. you got the nice yep. curve with the yeah. detailed colors. Um, nice little backsplash there as well. All right. When we're done with this, if anybody else wants to see another Lance, leave a comment. Because, um, you know, the, these aren't everywhere. By the way, this is propane it is. and electric. So the this second is the one second one. Seen. Now we've seen that is still propane slash electric, mm -hmm. okay? If anybody else wants to see a different model of Lance so you can compare, let us know. Here, Lisa, can you uh, slide the other one off? Yep. I can't get into the bathroom with, forgot to take that off, okay? Mm -hmm. As we're entering the bathroom, there's a door here, guys, so you can close the back of the, the, the coach off. There is storage here, okay? So you can put your towels in there, right? You've got your... Oh, we've got an owner! Not of this unit, of the 2285. The 2285, and how long have you had yours? Almost two years now. Almost two years now. And what made you decide to buy Lance over, like, the plethora of other choices you have? The quality. The quality. That uh, was before they changed manufacturer. I heard it's that by Rev now, so we don't know what the quality is now. But from, from the look, the quality has not suffered. It doesn't look... To be. No, I would agree. But um, you know, looks in in reality is yeah. always different. Yes. Uh, we'll give them the benefit of the doubt that the quality is still there. Yeah. Um, because typically the people move and and the build stays the same, even though the ownership, if you will, or name at the top changes. Right. right. Um, what uh, in this in this industry, what happens is they're able to have better buying power with the bigger company, so they're able to produce them a little less expensive. We, we, we may not see that. No. <laughs> the yes. yes, but they're able with the buying power to, to get um, the, the raw materials a little bit uh, less expensive. Before I get back into that bathroom, there you go. This has got a little shade over it too, which, rah, there you go. So you don't have to stick something out there if you want to block up the light. Thank you for your opinions. Yeah, oh, thank you. Oh, what, what? oh there, there's a cover that goes on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah look at that. Probably in the, the, the snaps. Usually, 
Ours were in the, the seats underneath here. The yeah. The doors pull out. And that's where they kept everything. All right. Well, let's, oh, let's see if it's there. Nice. Come on. Figures. <laughs> it's my turn. It's your turn. You've been well, that picking just on me all week. Oh, look at that. Oh, I love that it. That just was wrong. I love the it. Locks it. Oh, the button locks it. Yeah, they, they got them hidden somewhere else so somebody doesn't steal them. We have, but I know they have one for this, one for this, and one for the bathroom, the bedroom. Nice. Four or five of them. And they're, the only thing is, like, in the middle, they... They sag a little bit? A little bit, so you get a little bit of light out. So would that be the work? See, I always like that when we find an owner. We, by the way, we're streaming live. I, I apologize. I didn't tell you. Okay? Um, everywhere we walk around and when we're doing streams, somebody walking, oh, we've got the blah, 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 blah. So we like to ask, what's your most favorite thing about your Lance? Quality. The quality, and that's it's exactly what you incredible. want. Incredible. Yeah. And what's your, if you had to pick something, what's the least favorite thing about the Lance? The particular model we have, we have where she sits. Is that model here? I haven't seen it. Okay. It yet. okay. It's got two recliners. Mm -hmm. You walk in the door. No, it's got a, it's got, got a not, instead of recliners, it's got a couch. So and on the side of the couch, the couch is going this way like as this. opposed to this way, so you have to, and the TV's over here. So, so it's an awkward yeah. watching yeah. position or for the TV. Lean, lean in the corner, and the couch is gotcha. kind of low, so it's not overly comfortable. Okay. This is the only unit that they make that has a king-size bed. Uh, king size bed. Yeah. Okay, Tex. Oh, yes, Tex, if you're watching this, we have a subscriber who's been looking for a towel. Uh, under 30 feet with a king size bed. And this is this one, I think it's All right, right, we're going straight to the bedroom. All right, Tex. Going straight here we to go. the bedroom. Holy cow. Thank you. Here you go, Tex. You're going Lance, buddy. <laughs> we're going to get to the toilet in a minute, but we've got to go to the bedroom. <laughs> I'll tell you this, though. One of the other really good things about Lance, and we've noticed in our unit, when you close the doors and close the windows, you don't hear anything. Oh, no. very nice. Now, I don't know if you guys could hear, um, so I will. Um, 72 uh, by. 80 right so it's 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 not full residential king but it's pretty darn close it's four inches now skinnier. i can tell you you got a couple of inches on the left and it seems that you got a couple inches on the right you probably could get a residential king size mattress in there i would agree okay he was saying that um when everything closes up you can't hear anything yes. is that what you're saying yes went to a state park a while back they had nothing but frogs. and they call it Frocktober. Frocktober. <laughs> inside, we heard nothing. As soon as yeah. you open the door, that's when you heard it. It's it's unbelievable how loud it was outside with the frogs. Now, wow. And it's been a while since we've looked at a Lance, if I remember correctly, and we will go and check now. But because of the quality of the build, that means these are a little heavier than normal travel trailers its size. I don't know about that. Ours is at ours was dry. I think fifty three. Well, that's not bad. And then. It's capacity is like 72. We're going to go look in just a minute for yeah, everybody. Yeah, we will. It's not that bad. Before we do. It's real well, too, because of the torsion axle. 2285. We got to look at the, uh, the bathroom here for all you tall people out there. Thank you, Thank you guys. We appreciate your opinions. You're tall man's RV reviews. I saw you yesterday. I have to go and watch you now. There, see? Oh, see? Nice. See? <laughs> Welcome to the tall man clan. <laughs> Thank you, guys. All right, let's get on that toilet. All right. And then we'll go check the weight after this in the shower. You got it. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're right again at the limit. You can see the door probably closes right where that line is, and you see where my toe is. Mm -hmm. But just like some of the others, right, even if my feet went, it's, it's okay if I needed another inch or two. You know, I got to tell you, it was from my perspective, I know you're on a microphone, so nobody else is going to notice. Even being in the bathroom was much quieter than our RV. Oh, really? When talking yeah, I through mean, the door. That, it, that's a solid door. It's that not hollow is. core. Oh, well, actually, it is. Sorry. But it's it's really, when I grabbed it, it felt heavy. Yes. That's why I thought it was completely solid. And you were definitely muffled in there. Much more solid. Yes. All right, let me climb in the shower real quick. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, this one's good, too. Okay? Um, so the bubble is in perfect location. Again, this, to me, shows great design mm -hmm. because... Let's be honest, if this wasn't here, you're only going to be able to be like 5'9 and stand in here or 5'10. And at least the designers figure that out ahead of time so that the bubble is is perfectly positioned to so you're standing where you need to stand in the shower. Beautiful. Okay? Absolutely. And that and just just for fun, Lisa, uh -huh. I want you to sit on that toilet. <laughs> this toilet's raised. I want to see if her feet are off the ground or not. All right, let's see. Are you dangling? 
<laughs> at my, I'm on my tippy toes. Dangling. Is that but uncomfortable? It's not uncomfortable because my feet are touching. Touching, your toes are touching? So it's not uncomfortable. It was great for me. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. All right, so that's Lance. Again, did anybody leave a comment? Do you guys want us to check out another model? Let us know. Leave a comment down there if you want us to go check out another model. We're going to leave this particular one and try to get the weight for you guys. Uh, price point wise... Is there a price on this one? No, I didn't see a price on this one, but let's go check the weight. All right, here we go. Gross vehicle weight on this, 8,900 pounds. And okay. Jordan is with us and would like to see the 2445. All right, let's see if we can find that, Lisa. All righty. I'm trying to find cargo carrying capacity, 1,885. So let's just, just for round numbers, call that 1,900 pounds. So empty your 7,000. Okay, what's the number again? 2445. 2445? Uh-huh. 2445. Do you guys have the 2445 here? We do not. Man, we are striking out, Jordan. No 2285. We do have the new 1875. Okay, we're going to the 1875. Thank you. We're checking it out since it's brand new. That is three strikes. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe that. He's pointing this way. So this <laughs> has got to be the 1875. All right. So we have a little bit of storage out here. All right, with a pull-out drawer. That goes all the way through. I don't think it's a complete pass-through, but that tray comes all the way out. Look how thick the doors are, guys. Look at how thick that is. Right, hear how solid that is, okay? We have an awning that comes out from the beginning of the front almost all the way to the back, okay? Double axles, Goodyear tires, electric stabilization jacks. You got that same cool, you know, let's clean the feet off before we go in step. So now let's go in. Oh yeah, this is neat. Golly, I just, you know, we've been in some of the tiny ones. This just, I love how this feels. Yeah, it doesn't really. feel tiny at the all. The color scheme, the, the choices of things. Really, so again, this, this is kind of, it's not your Murphy bed, because you can see the mattress, but it's that same sort of style setup, right? So during the day, this is your living room, which by the way, turn around, Lisa, the TV, look at that TV. That's the biggest TV and a trailer this size I've ever seen. Normally, they're no bigger than like 32 inches. That's at least a 42. Yep, actually, they're usually like 24s, okay? But you've got great prime, great seating position because it's right straight up there, okay? This just folds down, remember, right? It's jackknife. And then this just folds right over. And now you've got your bed, okay? And that looks to be residential queen. So let's check it out. Yep, 60. There's no reason why it's not 80, but... I would check. agree. Yep, residential queen. Very now, nice. Now, mind you... You can't just go grab a residential mattress because it's got to fold in half, okay? It's got to be able to do that. So it has to be made really in two pieces but sewn together as one. But it is residential size, okay? That's neat. Cabinets left and right. That is magnet, really tight, okay? Nice uh, hanging rack there. You got sort of some nightstands and cubbies that go all the way back. I like the cubby. That's yep. pretty neat. Plenty of power. You also have drawers here. Mm -hmm. Right. Same on the other side. Mirror mm -hmm. image. The shade thing is just like what the other one was. Same thing. Up and or down. Okay. So you've got day shades or night shades. Mm -hmm. All right. And then when we turn around, we have our kitchen to the left. Yeah. Again, this is a brand new floor plan. And again, this is solid surface. Look how deep this basin I is. Love that. Yeah, it's it's more deep than the normal, the normal one, yeah. ones. Yeah. yeah, we do have that three burner ele uh, electric three burner gas stove, um, a nice oven under the sink. We have some nice good door storage. Nice pull-outs. Yeah. Nice. Oh, and it's got the separation for your silver as well. Very nice. Yeah. And then Above, overhead, these European style kind of cabinets. Right with the hidden microwave. The hidden microwave. Is that convection? It's just a regular high point, right? I believe so. It is yeah, convection. Just, no, it's not. No? No, it's no? just okay. regular. You know, it looked like it was convection. Okay, mm. I could be wrong. I'm sorry. Right. <laughs> Let's not forget our refrigerator. Yes, this is okay. the Norcold. Yep, and again, this is propane. 
Again, remember if you see the fins in the back, it is it's, it just it just it's propane. It's propane. Okay. <laughs> and then and hang on, you got a nice storage cabinet here as well. There are no shelves, um, but nice tall storage. And there's an access panel there. Yep, that cabinet there is just access, no storage. Mm -hmm. And then you got your banquette. Isn't is, that huge? It is. It's it's a nuck. <laughs> we we got we got an N or we've got mm. a, a a C or a U, right? So N U C. It's a nuck, all right, which does convert to be a bed. Storage underneath on the bottom, just like the other one, mm -hmm. right? Huge there you go. Nice storage. deep storage. Yes. Um, now, tall people, all right. I'm going to Lisa, right? You see where that slide is. So, sitting past this area here might be a little challenging when you're sort of trying to scooch in. You just got to be careful. But as long as you're sitting on the outside, there's no problem at all, obviously, okay? Mm -hmm. um, we, we sort of showed you the entertainment area, but I, we didn't really talk about it because you do have your um, fireplace down below. You've got a JBL sound system with a subwoofer built in, okay, and your TV above, all right? Then over here, must be where all the magic happens. Oh, you know what time it is. Let's get her done. All right. So, uh, again, we, we are right at, at the limit of, of where my legs should be with, with, with the door closed. So, at six foot four, I'm good. If you're much taller, it'd be a little tough. This is also raised like the other one. So, uh, Lisa's five seven, she would still be comfortable. It may be a little awkward for, you know, five, 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 four and below. Your feet may dangle a little bit, okay? Nice countertop with a vessel sink. It's not beautiful. Right? Nice cubbies down here. There's also storage down there, right? We've got some lights, right? Awesome. You got your vanity up here in the corner. Um, I'm pretty sure I can see my entire, yep, I can see my entire head there, which is awesome. And then the shower. Nice square shower, same as before. That bubble is perfectly centered and it's basically the entire, you know, see where my shoulder is, Lisa? Mm -hmm. I can't go any further than this anyway, okay? And then if you look up, you can see that bubble is, I'm, I'm right there. And so it seems almost that they took shoulder width into account so the bubble only had to be this big. <laughs> the point is, it's exactly where it needs to be. You have full uh, range of motion in here. The only thing I don't like, we talked about this in, an, uh, an, uh, uh, in our earliest stream today, they have this soap dish that is right there, as well as there's a soap dish up here, but this really, it, it's kind of in the way. Um, if, it, if it was up in the corner, remember, look, this is a one-piece thing. There's no reason why this couldn't have been molded into the corner. That would be a much better place for it, in my opinion. Uh, you tell me what you think. You, would that be in your way, guys? Leave a comment below. Uh, let us know if that's going to be in your way as well. Um, it's in my way. Uh, let me know if that would bother you or not. You think it should be in the corner? I think it should now, be. Now, Jordan has left a couple of comments. Okay. Um, uh, bad luck um, to begin with because we have three strikes and, yes. and haven't found his, an RV that he's requested. Well, to the see. very first one he asked, we found. Okay. But we haven't found the other two or three. Um, and then he said soft closet. And I'm not sure what that means. Soft closet. Soft closet. Soft closet. That could be a, like a typo, you know, how, you know, auto-correct? I, I, it probably is, and that's why I'm, I'm questioning, because I don't know what that means. If you're still listening, <laughs> what does soft closet mean? I'm sorry, we're not, we're, we're missing that one. Yeah, totally missing on that. Okay, and just like the other one, there's some little hooks right there, so you can put your keys when you come in. Don't forget, this is Four Seasons, guys, right? So, it's a nice Four Season coach. All right, so let's move on. We're going to cover more. This is our last stream. We want to make sure we try to cover as much as possible. We have a few things that we haven't seen yet, um, but we're doing our best to at least represent a little bit of everything for you guys, okay? So we're going to head down this way. We have just a, a quick walk. Ah, soft clothes. Soft clothes. No, there, there was no soft clothes there, I don't think. I'm here, just jump in here real quick and see. We're, st we're still in Lance's booth. We'll just jump in here real quick. Just jump in there and, and, and close one, Lisa, and tell me wh what you find. I don't think it is. I don't think it is either. Oh, by the way, Truma. Um... Oh, 
it is. It is. Soft clothes. Yeah. Yep. There you go. They are soft closed drawers. Love it. Now, as you see us walking, which by the way, this is an interesting one. I know we didn't look at it, but look, you can put three 20 pounders right there. Oh, look at that. I love that because you can just take those 20 pounders to any store, right. you know, any, any corner store that, you know, 7-Eleven, Circle K, you know, whatever your local gas station is, everybody pretty much these days sells the 20 pounders and just exchange them. Um, that's one thing that we find being full-time and traveling down the road. Occasionally, whoa, hello there. <laughs> I'll stand that back up for them. It's really breezy today. Um, that front that went through that's giving everybody bad weather up north. Um, we got a little bit of rain yesterday, but it's really windy today. Uh, we got our, thank God our microphones have the little windscreens on them. But uh, and anyway, so we are going to look, see if you guys can see up there. Soft closed doors, oh, it's still up there, yes. Okay, let me All right, the lazy we right now. are going to try to catch a couple of teardrops for you guys. We haven't seen any teardrops yet. So I see some really cool ones right in front of us, Lisa. I Just see check them. those out. Which, by the way, so you also know, we've been videoing when we're not streaming. So if you see us walking by, you're like, oh, they didn't cover that. We didn't see that. Why don't you stop in there? We may have already videoed it, and we will be putting that out in, in weeks to come, okay? So we're gonna go look at these. These are free solos. And you got a couple different sizes. You, you've got some you know, decent sized teardrops, which are actually pretty big. And then you've got a more traditional looking teardrop size down here. So that would be the tiniest in the back. This would be the tall man length one, and then you got your upscale one, okay? So you got three to choose from. So let's go look at the one in the back, we'll work our way up. How's that sound? Okay? So uh, if you're unfamiliar with teardrops, for the most part, for the most part, okay? Um, these are made for going off on the weekends into the bush. So here's a teardrop. See, it's just a bed. You do have your entertainment system in there. Uh, meaning radio, there is air conditioning, so you're at least comfortable at night. And as you can see, some cabinetry, right? Your kitchen is outside, all right? So you've got a, a two burner stove, you've got a sink, you've got a little uh, compact uh, refrigerator, okay? Um, that is an awning, and so you can have shade as well, okay? And there's your propane. So that's sort of the tiny, tiny one. Um, I don't know what the weight is on it, but I promise you, let's see if we can see what is there. Okay, dry weight, 1,320 pounds. Guys, you could almost hook this up to the back of your bicycle and pull it. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be a struggle going up a hill, but you could get away with it going downhill, I promise. And hard stopping downhill. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, here at the show, you're looking at 13995 so let's just call it 14 grand. Okay, so now we're going to step up. We're gonna to go to the, the tall man version because this is a little bit longer. So you'd have a little bit longer length, I think. Um, but this has a, a pull out outdoor kitchen. And so you see the, the grill top here. This little extension, as you see, also pulls out. But then the legs go up with the sink and that all slides into the compartment there. Okay. And then we'll just stick, stick our head in there. Again, the two doors for cross ventilation. Again, it is a little bit longer in here. You've got your cabinetry up there as well as your air conditioning unit and you have more of a, a, a countertop space up here as well as your radio system and some more cabinetry okay and as you see on this one this one dry weight is 1600 pounds so not much heavier and you're looking at a few thousand dollars more so you're looking at about 17 grand for this one okay don't forget the awning it's got an awning right awesome so let's check out the last one. Let's look at this red one. This is the Romo. They have several different uh, versions of this. Like uh, uh, the one up front is called the, the, the Kitsch. Kitsch. That's the Kitsch. This is the Romo. You've got the Fam. And the one all the way in the back is called the Din. So this is what we're gonna do. We're just gonna look at them all real fast. So the Din, 
you got your storage up here, up front. All right, and then when you get inside, DIN stands for dinette. So you got yourself a little dinette table that converts to Your kitchen is in here, little two burner, right? Little sink, microwave, air conditioning, and a little um, mini fridge, okay? And look at this. This one's got a little wet bath. A little bathroom, toilet, shower. And in the back, looks to be, well, I'm not sure. Remember, if you're my height, six foot four, I promise you, you're not going to go sleep length wide there. I'm just, I'm just, because that's going to be a little tight. So that's the den. Let's go look at uh, the fam. Okay. Again, outside, exactly the same. Got that big storage there. But inside, you got a couple of bunks right here. Wow. So if you got the kids with you, you got bunks. The rest of it is the same. Kitchen's the same. Microwave, air conditioning is the same, radio, refrigerator, but you've got a nook back here. A nook. Do you? <laughs> right? So that converts into a bed. So that would be a mommy, mom and dad's bed. And you got your wet bath. Nice. Okay? So this is like a large teardrop. These are all large teardrops. All right. Then we got Romo. Is this inspired after Tony Romo? I don't know. All right, so here are the kitchens in the back. So there's your stove, microwave, your uh, mini fridge, some storage up top there. There you go. Your bathroom's right next to that. And I can tell you being tall, I'm not going to fit in there very well. Okay. And then you got your nuck. <laughs> nuck. Uh, it, it's a U-shaped dinette. We call it nuck if you're new to it because I think it's an N or a C, but people call it a U. So N-U-C, it's a nuck. Okay, so there's a cabinet up here. You've got your shelf and uh, air conditioning. Okay, yeah, this one's nice. I think I might like the first one so far. That might be my favorite. And then last but not least, we got the kitsch, which must, mu which means the kitchen's in the front. All right, so you got your kitchen in the front, a little more countertop space for preparing things, microwave, refrigerator, all of that's the same, just the layout's different. Got some cabinetry there. You got your wet bath, which by the way, so you can see what, why I know I'm not gonna fit in there. See where my head is right now. I'm touching. Well, that is lifted up from the ground. It's, it's up there. There's no way I'm standing up in there. It's not happening, okay? And, but you got a bigger nook in the back, okay? There you go. So we just covered, what? Six teardrops for you guys. Thank you very much, guys. There you Thank go. You. Don't forget the kitchen in the back. Oh, oh, and the kitchen. I missed that all together. So you got a kitchen inside and a kitchen outside. So you can have two people cooking at the same time. Nice. We're having a feast. I love it. All right, this one's got your griddle, <laughs> outdoor fridge, some cabinetry, and a sink. Very wow. nice. So Nathan was asking about the crowds today. It looks like less people. It is. Sunday, traditionally, it's always incredibly quiet here, um, as far as the day goes. Um, it used to be, if you're ever thinking about coming here, um, Wednesday and Sunday are the two quietest days. However, since the pandemic, Wednesdays have become like nearly the, it's the second busiest day. Saturday is the busiest, and then Wednesday. So if you want less crowds, Sunday is now your best day to come. Okay? Look at this, we're having a little braid. We haven't figured it out. Look at this guy. Here, watch this. We're gonna... Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Is that neat? <laughs> That is unreal. Unreal. We got ourselves a little parade going I here. I know. All right, so we talked about looking at an A-frame. So let's look at an A-frame for you guys. Okay? Um, A-frames, if you've never seen these before, these go down completely flat. So this A-frame part, when it's not in its A-frame, is completely flat right here. So it's a different kind of pop-up, if you will. Okay? Um, in fact, what's great, it's amazing for the tall people. Why? Because 
I have no head restrictions in here at all whatsoever. Okay? But it's kind of like a pop out. You're not going to want to take this out in Wisconsin. Uh, what did somebody call it? Winter, winter Consin? All right? <laughs> uh, this is a summer thing. Okay? I mean, the sides are just vinyl and things, so um, it would be a little, a little bit cooler in here. I mean, it's not bad. It's not exactly like a pop up, but sim similar feel. So you get a bed over here. This is your dinette, which converts into a bed over here. Okay? Got a little, little sink. There's your table for your. Yep. Got a little sink. A little refrigerator, some cabinetry, and I'm wondering if there's, oh, hang on, is this, oh, no, I, I was seeing the hinge, I was wondering if it folds out. There is an um, air conditioning unit back here, an LG, it's like a, like a mini split. And there is a microwave here at the door. Microwave at the door. Yep, microwave at the All door. Right. So that's what an A-frame looks like. We're going to check one more out because they have, like, many, many different styles. That's just one of the smaller and I ones. Believe, don't they have like a place that you can put the grill? I thought yeah, right here. Was, the that... grill would go right here. Yeah. Okay. Some storage. Mm -hmm. Okay. In fact, it says it right here. <laughs> Do not use when awning is erect. Do not utilize this cooktop slash grill unless the vehicle is in a level. Right. So this is where the grill All goes. All right. right okay. So let's go look at this one. As you can see, it's slightly different because you actually have some bump outs yeah. from the A-frame part, okay? So what that enables is for someone like me to be able to stand up in here. So this would be your normal A-frame and I couldn't stand here. Obviously the middle is fine, but those bump outs just give it some more airy feeling, mm -hmm. okay? Other than that, it's the same setup. Bed's over here. Mm -hmm. That's your dining room table, which also becomes a bed, mm -hmm. and your little kitchen and the microwaves. Exactly the same setup. The only difference is it's got these bump outs. Exactly. So you can stand up over here where, where the dinette is. Um, Price-wise, by the way, you're looking at about uh, 29000 Okay? All right. So there's a couple of A-frames. Now these are not your daddy's pop-ups, okay? It's sort of a new evolution of pop-up. Um, different than the A-frame, these things collapse in and go down. So when you're traveling, it looks like an A-frame, but when you get to where you're going, it comes together completely different, okay? Um, this is the Trail Manor, this is the 2922 KB. All right, so let's go inside and take a peek. Look at how spacious this is, Lisa. This is really crazy. Wow. Right? Wow. <laughs> Look at this. So you get a full dinette here, which does go and make it a bed. Okay. Up here, a, a bed. Cabinetry up above. You can see there's also speakers up there. Um, if you look just below the speakers, those are lights. So you got reading lamps at night. Very nice. Okay. I can see them. I'm not sure they're very visible. To the camera. There you go, guys. There we go. All right. Then over here, we have our, our, our kitchen is sort of left and right. So on this side, you got your sink, which is actually really large. That is really right? large, wow. And then refrigerator, mm -hmm. radio systems here. A lot of your components that operate stuff is right here. Storage underneath, okay? But some nice countertop space, mm -hmm. right? Some cabinets up above, okay? Um, again, price before I forget, you're looking at about 42999 okay? For this one here. The rest of the kitchen, by the way, is on this side. Mm -hmm. So you got a three burner stove. Wow. Okay. Oh, this is a flip up that has to move when it when it goes when you're putting things down. But it, it it's a just just I mean there's cat there's tons of storage in here, which is amazing. Yeah. Right? It is. Okay. As we keep on going to the back, um, there's more storage underneath there, which is huge. Holy cow. Right? Yeah. Um, there's cabinet here as well. I and can't see that. There's a, a hanging bar up in there. Okay. I'm trying. Yep. Sorry for the gimbal, everybody. Yes. Yep. And Drums okay. And a huge bed. That really, I'm actually going to measure this one, Lisa. That, yeah, that's larger than a residential yeah. king. No, it's not. You don't think? No. No, because of the width. Okay. You're 78, okay. 78 this way. All right. By, by. Hmm. 77. It, it's it's folded a little bit. 78. I think it's completely square. It I think it's okay. 78 by 78. Wow. Which 
residential would be 80 by 76. It's, it's, it's close. Yeah, it is. It's very close. All right. And I bet you your normal king size sheets would fit because you got an inch going one way and an, the other inch going the other direction. All right. So here's the bathroom, guys. All right. And I'm not going to be able to climb in there at the moment because we're just in tight quarters. But honestly, I can tell you, I would fit in that shower. You know what? Hang on. Let me just drop the bag. Okay. You all can see my, my head height in here, right? Okay. Let's take those off. Okay. As far as the toilet goes, porcelain. This is a residential-like toilet. I fit in here just fine. No restrictions at all. A little sink here in the corner. Okay, and then you have your tub. Let me move this a little bit. Okay, the only thing that I don't like about the shower, and there, there might be something, you see this? There's a curtain that goes all the way around. If you're noticing, your, your hand can get through here. When that curtain is up, it contains all the water in here. But look it, at this, yeah, guys. Yeah, that has to fold so that you can um, close the lid, if you will. Wow. My, my, my head is touching. Look at that. I, I, but, but, but I'm in it. You're in it. But I'm in it. You're in it. Is that amazing? And that is an actual little tub there. So yep. it's got kind of a built-in bench. So yep. if you want to soak your feet or whatever. Is that amazing? That is amazing. Not your daddy's pop-up. No, definitely not. All right. So let's move on. All righty. Did you get a shot of the... Of this here, dry weight on this is three thousand pounds. Uh, not the weight, I did not. So let's. Once do it's that. opened, you're twenty nine feet. When you're towing it, you can see the picture there. Tow it with a small SUV. It's only twenty two feet when you're towing it. Wow. Twenty nine feet when it's fully extended. Yep. That's amazing. That is amazing. All right. All right. Okay. And we have another request from Jord from Jordan. If he says, if we pass Fleetwood, please look at the Fortis Fortis. 36 EB. We are not going to be passing Fleetwood. Fleetwood's in a different section, and we are just not going to have enough time to get there and go to where we had planned to go this afternoon. Um, you know, time time is short. We've got about an hour and 10 minutes. It would take us 20 minutes just to walk there, okay? Um, we do want to go get the River Ranch, though. We haven't covered River Ranch yet. Um, they were supposed to have another model here, which was debuting. Um, we went by here earlier. Um, it's not here. I, I don't know why they had all those models in that magazine that were debuting. And I'm telling you, half of them aren't here. I agree. Yep. So, a little frustrating when it comes to that, guys. Especially, we make plans to cover this stuff for you guys so you can see all these new models. Um, but they're not here. So, we'll cover a couple. They're, they've got two different models here that we've actually never seen, which is why we're still coming down here. And they're both full basement storage. Now, River Ranch, we're, we're talking about fifth wheels, okay? So we're, we've gone from A-frames to fifth wheels. Okay, <laughs> what I mean by full under storage is, look at all the doors, right? The, the entire upstairs part of this is one floor, okay? Normally in a fifth wheel, the front part is raised and you walk up steps. There are no steps once you get up inside this coach, okay? So... From an awning standpoint, we're gonna start back here in the front, okay? You got an awning that starts right there. And it goes all the way past the door. And then another one starts just next to that and then goes all the way to the very rear, all right? You have frameless windows, okay? A uh, six point auto level system, which you can see there. Everything is slam latches, heated underbelly. Look at this, guys. I mean, that's, that's all storage, okay? And the same thing in the back. All right, same thing in the back. Look at this. Right? This is amazing. Look at all this. That is an auto reel back there that you can see that I'm pointing at. That's an auto reel for your power cable, so you don't have to wrangle it. There's a back door that opens to the storage, so if you want to put something long, again, like a kayak, that can go right down the center. In fact, I think that's honestly what it's made for, because you see that little bow there? That's for for a kayak to, the, the, the nose of it to go in there, okay? So let's go up the steps. Now, obviously there's more steps to get up in here to begin with, but once you're in it, there are no further steps. So we'll go to the back first. The living room's kind of crowded already, okay? And so this is gonna be an RV King, guys, right? I'm not gonna take the tape measure out. We're, we're like, I don't want to say rushing through these. We're going to cover all the bells and whistles, 
Um, but we're trying to move as swiftly as possible because uh, we, we still have so much to show you. Nice bamboo mattress, okay? You got, I'm not going to call it a walk-in closet, but a huge closet in here, which goes side to side, except this could be your washer and dryer area if you want one, okay? Also, you have cabinets above. I was showing you when we were looking at the bed, there's these little places up top for larger things because the only nightstands you really have are these tiny little shelves. Um, there's the only power I see, by the way, next to the bed is right there, okay? As I turn around, you got a beautiful fireplace right at the foot of the bed. And so uh, if you're a little bit cooler at night, you don't have to keep the heat in the entire coach all the way cranked up. You could, you know, crank it down so you're not burning as much propane and then turn this on at night because it does put out heat. Obviously you see there's six drawers, solid surface countertops, and a TV on a televator, okay? So let's move forward. There's a cabinet out here. Oh, <laughs> so that'd be a great place for brooms and such. Okay, so someone just went in the bathroom, so we'll go back to the bathroom in a minute. There's another cabinet right here for more storage of things, which is great. And then you get back here, you've got, a, oh, this is a mid bunk. This is a mid bunk and it's got a desk in here too. Very nice. Oh, office space. Yeah. Nice. Cabinets like up that. above. What was this model number, Lisa? Would you mind running outside and grabbing it real quick? Yes. Because we I ran can, in uh, so fast. That uh, converts into a bed, guys. But if not, it's a sofa. This also just goes up. All right. So, and it, it pins right in here. So if you're sitting on the sofa, you don't hit your head. Okay. So we're going to go into the back. So uh, we're going to sit down and watch the game. Uh, nice. Who's winning? Just kicking off. And it's going to be one heck of a game. Look at that snow. Buffalo in January without snow is impossible. All right, the model number? 392MB. 392MB. MB standing for mid bunk. 392MB. All right, so the living room. We'll do this real quick so we don't interrupt the game as it starts. You got nice conversational living room because you got a nice big sofa there with your two theater chairs right here. Um, they are electric. Hit the button and they go out. That one pulls out to be a bed. And let's not forget all the storage above. Okay? Mm -hmm. Love the quality of the woodwork with the River Ranch. Mm -hmm. Beneath that gigantic TV that we're watching football on, you got your JBL sound system with a subwoofer as well as a nice 40 inch Furion fireplace. Then we get over here into the, the the galley area here, if you will, right? Yeah. So the island, we've got all these kind of... Um, oh, look at all these like little accessory things. Yes. So you can do whatever you need to do. What the heck sink. is all that stuff? Well, you can have, you know, a small basin if you just want to, you want know, wash your, soap, wash? Your, yeah. your fruits and veggies. You've got the full basin if you need that for those bigger pots and pans. You got a strainer, strainer if you need that, plus a cutting board. Wow! So very, very versatile. And that seen is, that in any other RV? Uh, I think we've seen it once before. I really? don't remember which one. It's probably a river last. ranch. Probably was, <laughs> to be honest. And that is stainless. Um, we've got a residential you. appliances. Okay, we've got a residential appliances. So we've got a Samsung microwave. It is nice. not convection. Four burner insignia stove and oven. Plenty of storage on both sides, storage underneath the island, and then we have a Samsung refrigerator. Nice side-by-side, okay. -side, residential, yes. nice little food pantry. Should yes. we give it the test? Got to give it the we test. We got to give it the test. All right, that fails. All right, can you actually see, you can see it moving, all right? So just imagine putting a bunch of canned goods up there. What's that shelf going to do? It's going to fail. So all it's got to do is put one more piece of wood right across the middle. That's it. It's going to cost them another 50 cents. Am I, am I right? Yeah, right. <laughs> See, we don't make this stuff up. <laughs> uh, right? We, we harass the manufacturers. Just, in the nicest way. I'm not being rude, but you know, yeah, yeah. this is a full-time coach. Yeah. And you're going to put canned goods up there. A lot of and that, exactly. And that shelf is going to start smiling at you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the only kind of thing you don't want smiling at you. All right, you see the ladies are sitting at the dinette. Uh, that, no, you're fine, you're, you're fine. You don't have um, to this, do this, No, you're fine. This folds out and you, there's two more chairs and you can seat four. Okay. Nice little light above there. And so uh, the Thank only thing ladies. that we missed was the, uh, the, the bathroom. Yes. So uh, I think she's done in there. So uh, hopefully she flushed. <laughs> All, right. All right. Oh, you know what time it is. 
All right, let's climb in there, Lisa. I'm gonna I'm gonna be able to do this with the backpack on. Nice. Look, plenty of space, guys. All right. So definitely thumbs up on this one. Okay. Nice solid surface sink, which is all one piece here. Cool looking faucet. There's uh, storage underneath. Right. There's a nice medicine chest up above, which I can see my entire self in. Right, multiple shelves in there. Okay, there's also a place to store some linens up top here. Um, it's sort of the mirror image of the outside one. Okay, so you can put some stuff in here as well as stuff on the outside. Very nice. And then nice. there's that big shower. Yep. Which this is a two person shower, guys. That is a two person right? shower. Right, with a bench in the back. So with yep. the bench up, here. I mean, maybe there's three people. Somebody else want to come in here with us? We got three person shower. Three person shower. <laughs> it's a party shower. All right, from a height standpoint, guys, as you can see, there are zero issues here. If you are tall like me, this is what you want. Okay? Mm -hmm. Let's go. Tex, I know you were looking for, for, a, for a, a 30, 30 foot. foot. This is not it. It is not bumper pole, but this does have all the bells and whistles, and there's luxury here. There you go, guys. Okay? So let's go look at the other model because there's two different ones here. Oh, and the extended uh, handle, yes. that cool extended handle. Yep. Right, love it. Love that too. Yeah, these are gonna be closer to, you know, 40 feet or, or longer, okay? This is just as designed from outside, basically the same. The whole underneath side is storage, okay? The awnings are exactly the same, windows are the same. But this is not, uh, this is the 393 RL. It does not have RL. the extended handle. No, this one doesn't have the extended yeah. handle. Okay, so let's go on inside. There's a nice little cabinet as you come in to hang your jackets up in. Jeez, everybody's got the game on. <laughs> it's funny, the other guy in the other coach was wearing, wearing a, um, a 49er San Francisco yeah. hat, but at least you're wearing a buffalo hat. Yeah. <laughs> Can you give me a favor? Can you call those things? Can you put it in a informative RV commercial or stuff on there instead of a football game? <laughs> 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 Steve, <laughs> Steve, you're doing your job. You are. You, you've got your side yeah. here. We've got yeah. a sample. So <laughs> exactly. Notice this. <laughs> we got, we got, we got, come on over here with that camera. Tell me about that sample. We're going to save you right now. <laughs> Beautiful. So it, it, instead of having Luan inside or out, we're using Asdel. So on the exterior underneath the fiberglass skin, we're using a double layer Asdel and a single layer underneath the vinyl. And then of course your block foam insulation. Asdel um, is sound deadening. It um, doesn't have any formaldehyde in it. It will not accept mold, mildew, bacteria. Moisture at all, yeah. And with having that, you don't really have to worry about the lamination because usually what the lamination is caused by is moisture gets into the Luan, the Luan molds up, and then it laminates. So plus it's super light. Super light, yeah. And, 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 and quiet. Um, we, we were, we're talking to the other how quiet it is when yeah. you get inside, yeah. Yes. yeah. yeah. All right, so you're Very saved. Nice. Thank you. All right, so we have a conversational <laughs> living room just like the other one, meaning you've got sort of an L configuration of sofas. You've got your love seat here. Um, which I'm assuming these recline out. Yep. yep. And then you've got your sofa over there, which uh, folds out to be a bed. You've got your cabinetry up to, oh, there we go. We're getting a little, uh, little there you go. You can see that. Okay. Across, again, you've got the TV. Um, nice big TV that looks to be about a 55. Um, and your uh, cabinetry above, which is sort of glass, so you can put all your electronic components up there. And a nice 40 inch fireplace down there with a little sort of fireplace brick around it, which is kind of sweet. Okay. Kitchen appliances, by the way, all the same, they right? Are. Samsung, mm -hmm. your insignia, right? Cabinetry, cabinetry everywhere. Pantry is in a different location here. Yep. You want to give Which, us a test? Since, since we have the manufacturer here. We we're, got we're, the manufacturer here. Oh, he's here. on the phone now. Oh, he's on the phone. Right, right. <laughs> okay, that's the same. They got to beef that up. Okay. Okay. So the unique thing about the River Ranch is composite slide on floors, and then the basement's all composite. So even this unit being 42 feet, 7 inches, it's just a little bit over 14,000 pounds. Nice. If you look at something else at this length, it's You're going to be about 800 to 1,000 pounds more. Wow. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. yeah. I have a note for the manufacturer, mm -hmm. for your product manager. You yep. ready? Yep. Okay. So someone who buys this, hold that, Lisa. Mm -hmm. This is a full-timer. Yes. Right? These aren't part-timers. Mm -hmm. Okay? Full-timers are going to buy some food. And they're going to put the food in the pantry. Yep. Okay? These are super, super flexy. So when you start loading them up with canned goods and things that weigh good, 
that sucker, pretty short order, is going to smile at you. Yeah. And I promise you that is the only thing you don't want smiling at you. Uh, this, All they're going to do, add one piece of wood across, just a little, just a, 50 cents. Give, it, give us the credit, though. This is a pilot unit. We finished it the day before it came down. It's, so it's all good. <laughs> it's all good. All right. And, and there's, and this one, there's some chorus cutting. It's going yep, back to the factory. It, it's okay. Uh, we, we, we have heard that across the board. Yeah, all the manufacturers. Pilot unit, so, um, oh, here, okay. So. Wait a minute. We were so, we were trying to come here to look at what was it the three um, the MK? yeah yes that's an Alice Park at the dealership we couldn't okay. fit every floor we could, if everybody fit every floor plane in yeah. there it'd be five square miles well in in the guide for the show it's they put that in there as, as a debut, debut. Model. Did they, really? yes. they did yes but it's not but this is obviously a prototype this is a debut and we probably and we we've been selling them and I've taken some orders on it. That's you great. Know, everybody's already rear living have always liked this rear living area right here, but the we used to have the hallway on this side and we had a step wall that sweeped in. I remember a that. Of, a lot of wasted space. Yep. So now that's how we're able to get that big bath and that big bed. Which we're gonna go look at. Yes. And by the way, our comments are made with love. No no not disgust. That's what right? No, just and that's no. why we love coming here because we get to have that reaction with you. All yes. Right? All right, moving Thank forward. You. So he talked about big bathroom. Let's look. Oh yeah, holy cow. <laughs> Look at this, Lisa. Wow. <laughs> that is a big bathroom. Right? Oh, and, oh my goodness. This and is... big doors, too. Yes. All right. So let, this... let's just say, all right, first of all, I was about to say talk about uh, accessibility. Accessibility, yes. The problem is, though, this door is tight. Gotcha. It is. So what we were just picture? about to say, it works for the bathroom. It makes this huge and spacious feeling, but you're not going to get past that door. You're right. Okay? You're but right. But anyway. Um, tall man doesn't really need to sit here. I could do a jig. Literally, in the bathroom. Okay. That's uh, bigger than our bathroom at home. Yeah, look, look, Both of look, them. Look. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here right. we go. <laughs> okay. All right. You got room for your morning workout. Right. <laughs> Okay. To those calisthenics. Right. All right. So you got a single basin sink. It's all molded. All right. I love how this looks and feels. Counter uh, uh, cabinet space underneath. Okay. You also have a cabinet up top for linens and things. Okay. Which is awesome. So we did get a prototype. Yeah. All right. Look at that. All right. Nice medicine Lots chest. Lots of space there. And again, your nice three-person shower. Yeah. There's. There's. Yeah. No problem. Yeah, this is just. No problem. Nice and tall. Yeah. Love it. I forgot about how spacious the River Ranch height was. Yes. It's because it's all one level. Yes. Okay. And then as we go into the hallway, into the bedroom, we're going to be passing. I like this one level. I have a fifth wheel. Uh-huh. I really like You like the one level, right? Yes, I do. You're it's passing. nice. This walk up into the normal level and then. And then you don't and have that's to. that's it. Yes. You don't have to bounce back well, and forth the stairs. My bathroom, to get my bathroom, you have to go right to the steps. Yep. And stand like this and open up the door to go in. I yep. got, I got a nice cat. I got you got to do. They, they call it the impression. They call it the fifth wheel shuffle. Yeah, do yes. the fifth wheel shuffle. <laughs> yes. We're used to. We're, we're wow, yes. Wow, that full size. This is nice. Yes, come on in. <laughs> yeah. look, look at this cabinet, Lisa. Look at how big this is. I see all that. the storage, so right? It starts here, yeah. then you go to the next bay, and then the next bay. And there's one more too, by the way. Oh we'll wow. close those. There's six drawers in that cabinet there. Yep. Right. Some skinnier ones here. Mm -hmm. Some deeper ones here. All soft close. Nice. But here's a fourth one here. Oh, I didn't even see this one. Yeah, it's separated, but there's a fourth one there. Nice. And we're not done because. Because you got your whole cabinet back here as well. Wow. Right? So as okay. we come in here, this looks to be, a, it's an RV King. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, we're not worried about width. Width is 72. But look, Lisa. You've got plenty of room. You could you get could 76. Put. Yeah. I'm worried about length. Me too. But let's take a peek. All right. 80. Uh, so you, you could, could go residential king in here. You could literally put a residential, residential king Residential king. For those who are looking for resident. Now look. It's a big one, right? This is not a travel trail. It's a fifth wheel. Um, it's big, though the way they make it, it's still a little bit on the light side. I think you said about 13,000 pounds mm -hmm. dry. Um, so not too bad. Right across from this, TV on a televator, fireplace, six drawers, okay? Um, reminds me a little bit of the other one, okay? Over here in this cabinet behind these mirrors is where your washer and dryer would go. Nice stackable, okay? And then again, I mentioned the cabinet. Um, we'll move these this way. It'll be a little. Oh, it's it's trifold. 
Oh, which is nice. Okay, yeah, okay. that gives you a lot more room to yeah, get in. A lot and more out. room to get in there. Yeah. Right, that's hanging bar, nookie, nookie, nookie. And don't forget, there's also cabinets up top, too, guys. Mm hmm. Oh my God, you can store all kinds of stuff in Tons here. Tons of space in here. I, I forgot all about these. We could get everything we need. We could. I think in this thing. Yeah. Hmm. The only thing is, we have the one bathroom. We don't have bath and a half. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, bath and a half. Yeah. Maybe they can just put two toilets in. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> you know, I mean, there's plenty of room in here. They there is plenty of room could. in there. <laughs> All right, so again, this was a prototype, guys. Like River that. Ranch. Again, the model number is 393RL. You can see the price point. We're expecting it to be around 11000 and change, or I'm sorry, 111000 and change. Okay? <laughs> All right, let's keep on going. We've got about 40 or 50 minutes left, guys, before the phone dies. But uh, this being the last day, we may try to go a little bit longer, right? We, we typically try to close the stream before the phone dies. But it being the last day, we may go a little longer. Now, I'm just warning you, if you're watching right now, and uh, we do go a little bit longer, and all of a sudden we cut off in mid-sentence, we apologize, it's because the phone died. <laughs> so hang with us, guys. We appreciate you. Thank you all, by the way. A lot of you watching now have been with us uh, the entire time. Woo! That was a big wind gust. I got attacked by a flag. We're going to be going in this building over here. And we're going to be seeing some things in there that we haven't showed you yet. Lisa's hanging behind me. Do we still have the water, Lisa? Yeah. OK. Let me get a drink while we're walking, guys. All right, you want to open that for me? Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. By the way, before I forget, everybody's got their favorite food when they come here. We talked about food availability. There's a few more vendors here, food-wise, than there were the last couple years. So um, getting lunch has been slightly easier, OK? However, uh, the first day, we, uh, we had a hamburger. What was the name of the place we got the hamburger at? Burger Boys. Burger Boys. We had a hamburger at Burger Boys. If you come here next year and Burger Boys is still here, I would not ever go there again. I would not either. It's just me. Um, the burgers were $22 for a cheeseburger. Each, One cheeseburger. Each. Each. You did get some fries. Absolute worst burger I've ever had Completely in my life. Completely flavorless. It, Even the tomatoes I, and onions were flavorless. I don't Weird. know what they did to it. I have no idea what they did to it. Worst hamburger ever. But I will tell you, where we've eaten the last four days is right here. Bourbon chicken. For dollar for dollar, best meal we could find here. It is $10 for a big uh, sort of styrofoam serving tray of rice and chicken, okay? and. We've never been here more than five minutes. Correct. <laughs> very fast. <laughs> very, very fast and very, very delicious. All fresh cooked, right? It I think we really waited nice. 20 and 30 minutes when we had the chicken tenders and when we had the burgers. It was just a very, very long wait. They were. Because now, now let, me, let me be honest, okay? We, we just walked on the outskirts. So if you were looking at a map, right, the big expo building where we came in is over there and we just sort of walked around the outskirts, okay? Usually you end up there in the middle. And, and that's where also a lot of the food vendors are. Not a lot, but you know, the handful of the food vendors. Those lines in the afternoon are huge because that's where everybody is. So we're like, hmm, let's go to the outskirts and see what we can find. We found that guy right there, 10 bucks. Love it. So we anyway. stayed with him four days in a row. <laughs> so if you're coming here next year, eat there. So we're going to finish off inside this building here. There's a lot of stuff in here. Um, I think we came in here briefly to look at something with Keystone, but we missed so much. So in fact, we're going to start back here with Elk Ridge. In fact, is it okay if we stash our bags here while we're streaming? Because we're going to profile some of your stuff right now. Since I've been sitting at your table all week long. This, 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 is, this is our lunch spot, by the way. After we're done with the first stream, Lisa and I sit at this table right here and charge up all our devices. So now you know our secret hideaway. 
Okay, so we're gonna look at an Elk, elk Ridge right now. This is the 38 MB, okay, 38 MB. It's 75, 477 here at the show. See the savings, huge savings, guys, okay? So let's start at the front like we normally do. Um, we'll start with the awning first. There's the awning that starts there and goes all the way to the door. So it's probably two thirds, maybe a little bit less. It's, everything's covered except for the slide area, which is fine because if you're gonna be sitting down with your family and doing stuff, it's gonna be in this area because this is where the room is, right? And by the way, the awning isn't all the way out, okay? So up front, massive storage. And the way they have it tied together, all three doors access the same space, okay? There's a, is that a power reel? That's a power reel for your, for your cable, okay? For your power cable, right? So you don't have to wrangle it. 30 pound protein panks, okay? Six point hydraulic level up system. Step above, got your more ride CRE 3000 upgraded suspension. And just to make sure we you know, show it, here's just a little bit about Elkridge if you didn't know much about them. So you can stop the video if you want when you're doing a replay and look. But here's also the models, okay? We'll show you sort of all the different floor plans they make in Elkridge, okay? There we go. And the 37 BBH and the 37 DRB are brand new. So I don't know if they're here, but we're gonna look for them just in case, okay? Yeah, we are gonna go inside. They got the cool handle, <laughs> right? Asdell siding. Oh yeah. So here's another nice decor. Okay. Uh, might be a little bit more stark than a couple of the others that we looked at. Mm -hmm. It's not horrible, right? But just a different flavor. You've got your sort of opposing or your L type situation. I call it conversational sitting, mm -hmm. right? You got your theater chairs here. Right, which recline, ooh, that's comfy. Um, and your, your three seat sofa over there, which turns into a bed. Okay, above it, you've got the cabinetry up above. Um, directly across from these theater seats, like most fifth wheels, is your entertainment area. All right, so nice big TV, JBL sound system, and that's probably a 40 inch um, fireplace. Okay, above it, of course, you did have some storage as well. Okay. To our right, we walked by it coming in here, is your dinette. As you can see, the four chairs are out mm -hmm. and the leaf is up, all right? And then you get into the kitchen. Yeah, got this nice big island. That, it feels like solid surface to me. It is solid yeah. surface. That is a stain, uh, black stainless um, single basin sink. That's great. Awesome. Um, tall faucet underneath that, and that is farmhouse style, by the way. Uh, we do have large space Oh, that's all underneath. open down there, guys. Yes, completely open. Got some drawers over here. We do. Three of them. All right, over on this side, we have a high point microwave. We do have a three burner stove and an oven. Um, this uh, is pretty large. Is that residential, I wonder? It is not. It's got the uh, stainless. Metal bottom. The metal yeah. bottom. Um, so we do have door. some drawers. Which, by the way, before you go any further, I don't know if you caught it, but the cabinetry here changes, bam, when you get to the kitchen. Mm -hmm. So it sort of is a defining line between, you know, living room and kitchen. Mm -hmm. I, I like when they do that. Yeah. And then we have over here um, a higher um, refrigerator side freezer. Side by side. Yep. Two uh, freezer pullouts, which are nice. Mm -hmm. All residential. A little bit of a food pantry there. Right. But if that isn't enough, you got this huge area over here, Lisa. Look at this. Right? Man, we're hoarding all kinds of food in this sucker. We are, aren't we? Yeah. Nice. That's awesome. Yep. Absolutely. All right. So then as we go, right as you were coming in, you've got this door. Here's hanging for jackets. Then up here is your electronics or your panel. Okay, and what's this? Oh, holy crap, I had no idea. It's a mid bunk. I didn't know this was here. Okay, so um, they call it a mid bunk, I guess. Um, that's a, a sofa that you can fold out to be a bed. Um, again, remember these type of units from a height standpoint, I mean, I'm, I'm in here okay. I don't even have to duck getting underneath this little lamp. It's tight, but it's okay. It's comfortable. Um, I'll give this to Lisa. As, oh, I, I turned it around backwards. Sorry, guys. That's fine. Um, a lot of the other ones that we looked at, they've turned this area into a desk kind of thing. That is not the case here. 
Um, so this is just a TV area, some storage, right? Um, but no desk. It'd be nice if they made that a desk, I think. But uh, that's just me. And I know the reason why they didn't, but they could probably figure out how to do it. It's because the cabinet's on the other side, mm. on the outside in the hallway. Because this one here, this is really deep. Uh huh. These are shallow because of the cabinets on the other side. But you could have the desk come out here because the slide would come and it would be fine. You could, and honestly, you could, if you wanted a smaller desk, hold that for a minute, you could do some kind of like a flip down here. Yeah. So you could have, you know, maybe well, the Well, mind TV. you, the TV's there, so you'd have to be creative with it, but, you, you know. Yeah, I'm sure you could figure out a way to do that. Yeah, and just look, things that we see when we walk around, yeah. ideas we come up with, mm -hmm. okay? All right, so let's continue to go. I, I, honestly, I thought it was going to be a half bath. Did you? I, yeah, I thought it was going to be a half bath. If you guys didn't know, we don't go in these units before we show them to you. It, it's, you know, when we're surprised, we are surprised. It's not acting. <laughs> We're not that good. <laughs> no. All right, so you got a nice bunk up here. For an adult, it's going to be kind of tight. If you've been watching all our streams, I crawled up into one of these earlier in the week. I fit, obviously, but it, it's, you know, it's tight for an adult. Okay? Yeah, you're, you're going to be knocking your elbows on the ceiling if you have to roll yeah. over. Yeah. All right, toilet. Let's give it the tall man toilet test, everybody. All right. Tall man toilet test. Boom. This one's perfect. Boom. Boom! <laughs> bam! Put a little bam on it, okay? Um, yeah, very comfortable porcelain foot flush, okay? Above me is a little shelf, okay? Got some octopus hangers if you want to hang your towels for drying. Speaking of towels, there's some nice cubbies. Four of them right here, Lisa. Nice. That reminds me a lot of our bathroom, just uh -huh. like this, right? Mm -hmm. Right across from me, we have our vanity and sink, all uh, right? It is not under counter mount, but that's fine, but there is plenty of countertop space, which mm -hmm. is nice. All right, nice storage underneath as well. And then up top, um, I can see from my nose down, okay? And then uh, as you can see, there's there's enough room in there for all them drugs, okay? <laughs> and as we climb into the shower, again, another perfectly designed bubble. It's right in the middle. Now, even if I'm outside the bubble, it's tight, all right? Be, be, be hard to scrub here, but that bubble is perfectly placed, guys, so... Yeah, this is great. You have three shelves which are in the corner. Remember the other unit we were in earlier where the shelf was right here, right? And your arm keeps on hitting it. When it's not there, this is perfect. Just put the shelves up there in the corner. They're out of the way, mm -hmm. right? Not even in the back, but in the front. They're out of the way. Mm -hmm. Back here, you got a bench. Nice. I suppose I could put my foot up on one of those. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get up into the bedroom. Are you trying to shave your legs now? I'm trying to shave my legs. <laughs> All right. All right, so... Uh, definitely looks like Residential King, so probably 72 by 80. 70 by 80. All right. All right, I'll make sure we're 80. It definitely was 70. Yeah, 70 by 80. Okay. Okay. As you can see, your nightstands are up a little high. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, but there's power, and there's USB charging ports. Okay. All right. Solid surface, too, by the way. Nice. nice. I didn't notice that. Yeah. Yep, solid surface. All right. Right across from here, you got six drawers. You got a place to mount a TV uh, mount up there, and uh, I think I talked about this before. The way that's placed, I would put a nice rack there, and just I'd have a huge TV. You cover up the entire windows. Uh, this I, whole I would. wall would be a huge type. That'd be uh, a sixty. TV. That'd be a sixty. Oh, you'd make it bigger. <laughs> Who needs to see out the windows? <laughs> we got windows everywhere else. I don't want a big TV. All right, so there's a washer and dryer area. All righty. Okay. There's the prep for it, mm -hmm. and then here's more closet, hanging space. There's a shelf up top. Okay, so there's plenty of storage in here. Nice. All right. I'm going to go right. back and grab our uh, backpack. Oh, we stashed the backpacks. Yeah, like, we oh. did. Yeah. Yes. Feel lost without them. We've been carrying them all day today. I know, right? Yes. All I feel right. so much lighter. I love that. I love this. <laughs> right, I, I know. I know holding the camera, but without the camera, it's just natural. You grab it. All right. What's the model numbers we're looking for? Let's go see if we can see some of these new ones. We got a 37 FHB, 37 BBH, and 37 DRB. All the 37s. So just find something that says 37. Which I think the only other Elkridge actually is this one right here. 37 DRB. So this is a brand new floor plan, everybody. So we're bringing you another brand new one. Okay. So this is the Elkridge. There's your price here at the show. Okay. So we'll profile the outside real quick. Oh. Look at this. You're learning, so please pardon our manners, but look at that. Is that absolutely adorable? <laughs> that is so cute. All right, so you got an awning that covers from the very front 
all the way to the door, okay? Again, nice big storage. This is just like the other one, right? All three compartments combined together. You got your power reel um, for your electric uh, cable, so you don't have to wrestle that 50, uh, 50 amp electric cable. You got your 30 pound propane tank on this side. There's a 30 on the other side. Your six point hydraulic level up system. Okay, all oh. that's the same. Oh, you've got, a, there, there's a little um, tie for your dog leash. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, look at that. Is that adorable? <laughs> oh my gosh, absolutely adorable. Okay, let's go on inside. Oh wow, everything's open here. I'm gonna give this to you and shut some doors. Okay. You're gonna have some surprises. <laughs> okay. So we're just gonna stand here and stare at the refrigerator. Yeah. Actually okay. stay there. Okay. Hang, hang, hang on, hang on. All right. All right, hang on, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Almost done in there. Almost done in there. I'm almost done. I'm, okay. Come on. Nothing like taking your own sweet time. I know. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> yeah, that's a little funky. Okay. All right. All right. So we got the doors closed. Okay. New floor plan. All right. New floor plan. So as you walk in, the, the living and the dining, okay, a um, little bit smaller than normal. You'll see why in a minute, okay? You do have a four-seat sofa here. Huge. Okay. Huge sofa, okay? And in the TV, which is also huge, but it's up by the ceiling, okay? So interestingly enough, this reminds me more of a fifth wheel in the sense that, I'm sorry, uh, a toy, toy hauler. hauler. Agreed. Most toy haulers, the TV's up way high. Yes. Uh, I personally don't like that. And yeah. This is me. I don't like to have my head cranked up trying to watch the TV. Agreed. Um, let us know what you all uh, think. What's your opinion? Would you be comfortable looking at the TV way up there? Or would you rather it be down a little bit? Let us know in the comments, okay? Leave a comment below. Right across and beneath there is your, your dining room table, which is solid surface. I'm assuming there's some more chairs that come out here. They just put them away. I would agree. Okay. And then you have your kitchen. Mm -hmm. All right. Very similar with everything. So we're going to cut some corners. Three burner stove, nice oven. Mm -hmm. You have your high point microwave, your hair side by side refrigerator, mm -hmm. residential. You have pantry space over there as well. Big pantry. Mm -hmm. Big pantry. Single basin sink, which is your farmhouse style sink, mm -hmm. and some storage underneath. Nice stainless. Don't forget the side uh, yes. coffee bar on this one, yes. which is nice. You have, power, have power, some storage above. Um, your well, electric one panel. One side of storage, the other one is your sort of control panel, mm -hmm. which um, I would say, let, let me see. Okay, so when the slide is in, guys, you can open the top of the refrigerator, but you can't open the bottom. So when the slides are in, Boy, that's going to be It's close, close, but I, I promise you, you can. Okay. Okay? All right. So as we go up to the front, oh, yeah, you know, let's get in this toilet. All right, we got to at least do that. There's some <laughs> lights there. This is exactly like the other bathroom, guys. Okay? Exactly like the one we just left. Okay? So everything is awesome in here. The shower is plenty of height for a tall person. The bubble is in the right place. Got uh, storage for your towels. Great bathroom, solid surface in here as well. No corners cut here. So a really nice bathroom in this brand new floor model. Okay. Sorry about that. Fifth wheel shuffle, that's that's what we were talking about with that other guy. Same bedroom too, okay? You've got your uh, um, RV King, same nightstands. Again, this all is exactly the same as the other model. This front section here, washer dryer. And I don't your, remember seeing the charging station. It, it was over there. It was, in the oh, last okay, one. gotcha. Um, your six drawers. I think the last one was four drawers, but that's okay. Six and a place for your TV right here in the middle. Mm -hmm. Okay. Power and a shelf over here for your Yep. Uh, but what's different CPAP machine. is the back. CPAP. All right, here we go. So this is a huge sort of second bedroom area, Lisa. Wow. So you've got a bunk here. And just huge space down here. You can put a TV backer there, but there's cubbies behind it, which are nice. You've got, yep, storage cabinets there. You have an independent audio system back here. Look at that. Which is great. Speakers, yeah. So it literally runs its own system. But then on this side over here, you also have the fold-out sofa as well as the uh, um, bunk that goes down as well. Okay, so during the day it's up so you can sit here and watch, but at night this could come down. I mean, this is... I mean, it's really spacious. It is. I honestly, I almost feel, almost that it's wasted space. 
Almost. You know what I mean? Because it, there's just, what are you going to do here? But if you're full-time and you got a family, this is the kids' playroom. Kids are going to be playing board right? games. They're going to be playing all kinds This is where all their toys, this is where yes, their mess is going to be. Yes, absolutely. Right? But we're not done yet because there's another bunk up here. Look right? at With a ladder. That. Right? So that bunk here, let's see if my big butt, I'm not going to go all the way up because I would never get down. But again, this is again, this is a smaller space, right? Not for an adult, but a child would fit up here just fine. Again, old enough that, you know, to be able to climb up and down a ladder, okay? But we're still not done yet. No. No. Okay. There oh, is a full my second bathroom, Lisa. Look not even a half bath. Look at this. This is two bedroom, two bath. Look at this. Two and a half bedroom almost, okay? Yeah. So definitely great space here. If you're traveling down the road, not that you would come in here anyway because of the slides, but with the, the stairs up, you, the stairs have got to be down. So wherever you're camping, you got to leave enough space behind the RV for those stairs to go down so you can use the bathroom. That's the only reason why I mention it. Okay? Uh, nice corner sink here, right, with some storage underneath. Um, there's stuff in the way, but you can store a few things. There are three cabinets up here, which are really deep. They are. Look so at that. So you can that. store a lot of stuff up there. Yeah. Okay. Um, and this cabinet is kind of a mirror. Um, uh, there, there's a lot of height challenges here. Uh, I'm so not even going to be able yeah. to get I, in there. I can see from here down, and that's it. Okay. Um, You're not going to fit I'm in there. I'm not going to fit in there. You're Again, not. this is the kids. First of all, there's a tub. All right. Hold on to that. Let's see how I do. Okay. Well, let me show you. This is a tub. Okay. Remember, this is in the back for the kids, so the kids don't need to use yours. The kids are in here. So they need to take a bath. They can take a bath. Okay, but that means it's raised, mm -hmm. and I'm already hitting my head without standing up in there. So Lisa's 5'7", and as you can see... I can get two fingers. Two so, fingers. So, yep, 5'8 is max in here. All right, 5'8. Okay. But remember, I, I believe this is made for the kids. Yes. Right, mm -hmm. it's not made for the adults. Exactly. Unless you're 5'7 or below. <laughs> All right, so there you go, guys. Prototype. All right. Let us know what you think of this model, all right? All right, so let's move on. So that's Elk Ridge. Let's uh, sneak back here. Um, there are some strikers here. Um, these are toy haulers. We are going to skip those for the moment, okay? We're going to sneak over here because we're going to look at some Montanas. Couldn't come here and not look at Montanas. All right, so there's all kinds of Montanas here. So let's look at a legacy, okay? So this is the 3231 CK. As you can see, the weight, 12,903 pounds. The, carrying, the cargo carrying capacity, 3,777 pounds. Am I showing that to you all right? Right, a little too I'm, too, I'm too low, sorry. Now, I believe the Montanas that Jim and Mickey were telling us about are over here. If you wanted to take okay. a peek at those, we'll look at this one work. and then, then come back work. around. That'll work, okay. okay. Price point on this one, 109, 409. Now this is on a drop frame, so look at how deep that storage is. Look at the height of it, okay? You are a double or triple stacking bins in there. You can carry a lot of stuff. Here's your compartment for propane. At least it's typically propane. Yep, 30 pound there. All so right. I've got a comment from Angela that she likes that a lot. Nice So lining. I think she was talking about the last RV we looked at. Not sure, at. starts at the front, goes all the way past the mm -hmm. door, and then there's another awning that's on this slide that would come out here. Okay, you've got frameless windows, six point hydraulic leveling system. Angela, were you liking the uh, Elkridge or are you liking this Montana? Not sure which one you were commenting on. Okay, so as we step up into here, look at this beautiful thing. All right, look at this, guys. I'm gonna go the other way. So I you like can the see detailed the lights. Picture. I do too. What she's talking about is up there on the crown molding. Look at that. It goes all the way around. I, I love this. And the the lights overhead too. Yeah. Oh, look I, at the the. Yeah. Yeah. I love this. I really do. Okay, so conversational seating, theater chairs, and sofa. Okay, these are all, these are like super, super duper. I haven't seen a chair. There's all kinds of stuff going on here. It's got lumbar. 
Oh, wow. Yeah, I haven't seen that in any of the RVs. No. Look, the back tilts independently. Oh, nice. Right? Yeah. And then goes completely out. So you could do that. Angela likes the mid bunk. The mid bunk. Yes. And then you're, you're almost flat. Look at that. Very nice. That's nice. See how far my feet are. It's not uncomfortable, guys. Um, this is not uncomfortable. All right. All right. So cup holders, storage in between, USB charging ports. Okay. Over there on the sofa, that pulls out to be a bed. Above it, really nice cabinetry above. Again, all the detail work. Mm -hmm. The glass sort of, is nice. We've stepped up in class a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. So the finishes are nicer, right? It just, it, it's, it's a very simple mathematical equation. Mm -hmm. The more expensive, um, the, the nicer the details, okay? Beautiful big fireplace, um, as well as TV and some storage above. Mm -hmm. And then look at the sort of the, oh, excuse me, everybody, the arc, the sort of curved end. Oh, yeah. Is that nice? That is nice. Right? All right, so we've got our dinette. Yeah. Traditional uh, tabletop, if you will, four seats. Extends out. There's a leaf there. Okay. And then we get into this. It's it's a really big kitchen the way that it's laid out. It is, isn't it? Because you've got this extra space over here. Usually that's kind of like your coffee bar. Right, but that's where the stove is. So. Yeah, so we've got this nice big island with a single basin sink. This one does have a drying rack in here, so that's nice. nice. Um, underneath, we do have some tall storage here. And we've got... This looks like a pull-out. There you yep. go for your trash. And a drawer as well. And in the back, that huge area with nothing there. Yes. That's where a lot of prep is going on. That's right. Yeah. So you can cook for a lot of people here. Um, we do have a Furion microwave. This is a convection microwave. Okay. Okay. Um, this would be a great place for kids to come in and, and you know, pop in and do their afternoon snacks. Yeah. Um, we've got some storage here. You got a tower of power here. We right? do. Yes. And then there's tons of storage it's here with pull these pull-out drawers. Yeah. yeah. Right? And those soft are clothes. soft clothes. <laughs> Yeah, very nice. Okay, look at our nice big refrigerator. This is a GE. Nice residential. God, that's nice and cool in there. It is, yeah. <laughs> there we go. All right, we've got um, a nice, uh, I like the um, um, range hood. Yeah. We've got a range hood. Yeah, that right? is nice. Yeah, with cabinetry on both sides. A three burner gas stove. It's wide. It is. So you can put your larger pans on there. Yep, beefy grates. Beefy grates. We've got an oven here as well. And then there's also additional storage. I believe that pulls out. This, I would agree. Look at there this. There you go. Wow. So look all right. at all this countertop so, space. So you do all your, your cutting and prepping and all that stuff here. And then you move your, you know, 37 bowls to over here. Mm -hmm. So we can do our, our wok cooking, mm -hmm. right? Nice. Yeah, that's awesome. Nice. And then you have your drawers here. So that's great. Love it. Yep. All right, let's step up here. Um, to the right before we step up, place to hang your jackets and your electronics. Okay. And then we get into the bathroom. Wow, look at this bathroom. Okay, Lisa, take that. All righty. Solid door, at least the solid on the ends. Okay. All right, as far as the tall men toilet test goes, again, this is another one of those recliners. <laughs> I just need a button and a massage while I'm sitting here. <laughs> All right, perfect, guys. All right, over to my left, his and her vessel sinks, right? And so there's cool. There's his and here's yep. hers. And uh, underneath, hers and his. you've got uh, nice storage drawers and all that stuff, right? Um, there's a big pipe in the way there, but you can get around that with some stuff, okay? Mm -hmm. um, up top, your mirrors are flat against the wall, so this middle is where you would put all your medicines and stuff, okay? Mm -hmm. Very nice, and I don't think you would have any uh, problems seeing yourself I, I don't in that think so mirror. Either. Nope. Right. And then let's get into the shower. Alrighty. All right. So the shower is a little bit challenging, only because the bubble, as you can see, stops here, and I would need to be here. Okay. I do fit, so it's not horrible, but I would be conscientious of that height, and so I would want to be here and bend down like this. Uh, it, it, if I loved everything, obviously I love the decor, but if this fit my needs, I might make that 
cons you know, compromise, if you will? I don't know. I don't know because right there are two screws. I'm just, I'm deadly afraid of that scrape mm -hmm. right down the middle of my scalp. And if anybody's going to get a scrape on their head, it's going to be it, you. It's going to be me. <laughs> By the way, behind the door, there's cabinetry for storing your linens and things. I, I, I didn't want to miss that, but it's behind the door. Okay. Up into the front. Yeah, I love all, I love all the woodwork in here. I just love the color scheme. Mm -hmm. Right, so you shelves up here, right, with power up top. All right, see that power right there, Lisa? Which is nice. So if you're putting a CPAP machine, there is power right there. I see that. Love sort of the, uh, the darker colored paint around the edges of the trim work, okay? Um, this might here, this might be residential. All it right. really feels wide. And it could be because the comforter's not on it. I don't know. But we're going to check anyway. Nope, 70. Wow, it's so deceiving. Mm. Residential, 76. So it's six inches shy of residential. Yeah. So 70 by 80. Okay. Right across here, you got a six drawer vertical dresser, which is nice. Um, there's also a TV, and it's already sort of mounted at an angle. It's hard to see from there. So there you go. It's mounted at an angle, so it's great viewing position. It's a 32 inch smart TV, so you can stream stuff if. Say you got uh, Starlink or something like that, okay? Louvers on a door in an RV indicate washer dryer. So I know there's chairs there, but behind there is your hookups for your washer dryer. If you're not using it for washer dryer, there's a hanging bar there, you can hang more clothes. But if not, there's a big closet right here, okay? With some cubbies down there, and you got a hamper right here. Ah, oh, very nice. All right, so yeah. Um, other than that, that shower scares me, I'm not gonna lie. It scares me, okay? So we've got a couple of comments here. All right, let's just sit here for a second. All right, uh, so Angela um, has given us a couple of requests. Airstream Bambi 19CB, we've we already, already done at that. that. We did it first thing today. And Basecamp 20X, I believe we, we already did that, did that as well. We already did that as well. Um, Lance 2075 and 2185. All right, we're not going to be able to get back to Lance. We, we did uh, cover a couple of them. Yeah. I just don't remember what they were. Um, when we started the afternoon stream today, Angela, I don't think you were with us, but the first two we looked at were, were both the uh, air streams you were looking for. And then we literally went right to Lance and looked at two or three of the Lances. Um, I just don't know the model numbers, okay? Um, we only have a few minutes left of the stream. Um, so just scroll back in the video and uh, you'll be able to see that Bambi 19 <laughs> She said, 19 okay, no CD. problem. I appreciate your yeah. work and you're very welcome. Um, Macrina says that's larger than the Carnival Celebration. I think she was talking about the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> Which we're going to be on there again uh, in uh, April. April, April yeah, 23rd. End of April. Um, and then Angela says, um, which RV would you guys choose if you were going to change from your current RV? Wow. Um, that is a loaded question. It really We've is. We've been back we, and forth we, and back and forth. We have. When we left here last year, we were pretty set on the Avalanche 390DS. Yep. Um, since then, our life has changed a ton. Um, we had a very rough year last year. Very rough. Um, and the requirements of our life have changed because of which. It's also why if you've been following us for a long time, we were not able to post a lot of videos last year for um, RVs. Um, uh, in the, the first few years we were doing this, we were posting uh, six video, between six to 12 videos every week. Um, last year we went sometimes you know, six weeks without posting anything, very challenging. So we've been thinking about sort of a, 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 a three-step program to upgrading. Um, we're sort of looking for a travel trailer with more cargo carrying capacity for now, but we haven't looked yet. Though we've been looking at all these RVs, we've been looking for you guys that are watching. And as you see how fast we go through them, um, it's really hard to digest ourselves. So when we're done, we're actually going to go back and watch all of our own videos <laughs> to digest what we've seen here. Yes, we will. Then, depending <laughs> on what happens over the next year to two years, we're either going to go up to a fifth wheel or straight up to a class A. And so that yet to remain, we, we just don't know what's going to happen between now and then. If we go to a, cla uh, uh, to a fifth wheel, we still do like that Avalanche 390DS, but there's several other manufacturers, to include Avalanche itself, that have come out with similar models. Yes. So we are going to spend some time 
digesting that that the differences digesting. between the new models and, and a mu- just yes. So um, we like the dual suites, and there's various reasons for that. Okay, um, and then uh, as far as the class A's go, uh, you know we haven't really spent a ton of time, but you know the last one that we really looked at in any kind of detail was an American Dream, um, and we just kind of liked the layout of it. Um, and so when it comes time, um, you may see us profiling and putting up videos for a lot more class A's because that's <laughs> sort of what we're looking at more and more and more. Okay. So hopefully that makes sense for you guys. Okay. So we're going to get back up and we're going to continue because we have so much more to see. Thank you, Angela. And we only have a little bit of time left. Okay. <laughs> Our time here is coming to a rapid conclusion. It is. The show is almost over. Almost over. I'm not right. sure which is going to go first, the batteries or the show. Right. I don't know. <laughs> um, what is it that we were looking for, Lisa? Oh, uh, we, the two over here were the ones that um, Jim and Mickey were talking about. One has a, um, an office area. Okay. The last row in the, the back. The last row in the back. Okay. Jim and Mickey are some subscribers. They've been... Uh, subscribers to us for a long time and uh, we ran into them there they stopped us saying all of a sudden we hear hey tall man and we go, hey what's up <laughs> so and let's let's do this one first okay and then this one here all right I think that's one the desk but there's a lot of people in there gotcha so let's do this one. all okay? right and then we'll back up to the other one and take your pick there are a ton of floor models of Montana yeah. Montana's here. got they're well represented here yes okay this is model number 381 TB 381 TB Again, you're looking at 91 grand. Uh, sorry, let me put that over there at the show. Okay, so again, drop frame, propane. You could probably fit a 40 in here. These do doors are tall, um, but it does have a 30 pounder in there. Okay, these are not hydraulic level systems. These are electric and it is six point, but six point electric. And by the way, just for one of those fun, interesting side things, the way that you tell if you've got a square tube up in the front, it's electric. If it's round, it's hydraulic. Just the, just the front ones, because back there, you see those are round. So if your front pegs are square, that typically indicates that it's an electric uh, level system. Okay, um, awnings. You got an awning that covers all the way from the front, all the way to that door. And then another awning that covers the side of this slide all the way to this back area here. So the back area is not covered, but everything else is. So let's go in. Again, 381 TB. Wow. Okay, so there's not two sofas here. Okay, just the one, which is the, uh, there you go, Lisa, grab that. Just your, uh, uh, whatever these are. <laughs> Theater chairs. Uh, there's going to be a lot of that over the next 20 minutes, okay? Yes, definitely. Oh, look at this. This just comes... Oh, well, that's cool. So you can cuddle if you want. Yeah, absolutely. Or you can drink if you want. Yeah. Take your pick. I think well, you got it flip-flopped. Yeah, do I have it flip-flopped? I, I don't so. know. Okay, whatever. Sure okay. Um, electric. So they just you hit the button, they go out. Okay? Go back in. Okay? Um, TV's right across from us, guys. Mm -hmm. Okay? So that's a 50-inch, as you can see, also a smart TV. Um, beneath there, you got a Furion 30-inch um, fireplace. Oh, I that, like this surround. Um, it is not real. That is. <laughs> oh, it is real. That's real. I thought that was fake. Okay. Well, it's real wood. Cabinetry up above. Okay. Um, next to those theater chairs, um, I don't know if you saw me when I walked by, but mm -hmm. Okay. And then you've got your kitchen. But hang I'm just before we get completely into the kitchen, I just want to get back here to the front. I walked through here so fast. I just want you to take a look. All right. There you go. Nice, right? And before we forget, there's a little flip up on that island too. And there's also some really yeah, nice detail. Nice detail on this Isn't stuff, that right? nice? The lighting and the accent. Yeah, nice this solid is solid surface, surface and yeah. stainless, 7030. 70 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll just kind of skip over this because there's so many of them. Is that okay yeah, with yeah, you? Yeah, that's guys? fine, right? You got to, uh, is, is that convection though? Open it, it up. It is not. It is not. Are you sure? It is, yeah, it is not. No, it's metal in there. Typically, if it's metal inside, it's convection. But it's that's shiny. Okay. It's not shiny. It's shiny. Okay. Yeah. Yep. So you got your three burner stove, yep. um, oven. There's storage on both sides of the, both the microwave and the oven. Um, we have a GE side by side with nice a pull out drawer. Nice pull out drawer. Nice coffee bar. Nice coffee bar. Daiquiri um, bar. Right. There's 
sides of it, plenty of cabinetry yeah, above and below. That pull up over here on the island, I mentioned, I mentioned it, but it. I didn't pull it up. Room up top, too, there. Yeah. The top of the cabinet. Yes. Uh, here, mm -hmm. there's a little pantry area. Mm -hmm. I think that's sort of a pantry. Yeah, you can do that. But then there's a, there's a huge bunk up here. Um, but also high head clearance. You might be able to sit up there. Uh, I don't think I can sit, but I'm 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 sit there. I could. But we're not going to let you sit there. Yeah. We don't have enough time. Looks like bookshelves and stuff back there. Look at this. This is a second bedroom. I had no idea, Lisa. So this is, um, Angela, you were asking about one of the, the floor models that we like, and this is kind of them. So this this has got to go on the list. On the list. This is on the list. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're, we're lo looking for two unique adult size sleeping areas that don't require you to go up a ladder. Exactly. All right, so you've got shelves up there for your CPAPs. You've got power, mm -hmm. right? Um, this is a queen size bed. Mm -hmm. uh, over here, you got your six doors. Right. You've got cabinets everywhere. Hanging space there. And one more time. Uh, you oh, close sorry. The door. Yep, there's your hanging rail. Yep. Get a spot to mount a TV here. Mm -hmm. From a height standing in here, Lisa, mm -hmm. it's okay. Full bath. Yes. This is a full bath back here, y'all. And look, you can actually get into oh, yeah, the shower. Oh, yeah, because it's full height back here. Yes. You're, you're I don't know, 13 feet. Yes. <laughs> but that's the toilet. All right, let's check this out. All right, I fit. There's like... An inch clearance down here. That's it. But I fit, so there's no problem. Right next to me is your vanity, which is under. Uh, cabinets and stuff go because there's no medicine chest. Um, I would also think that's where you want to go as well. I think so. Okay. You got some storage, some storage down, down oh, there. Oh, that goes way back. It does. It, oh, yeah. wow, it does go way back. There's also a door on this side too. Yeah. Right. Nice. And as Lisa was saying, <laughs> the shower is great, guys. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not used to that, y'all. I am just not used to that. Okay, and the it's door. Not, and the door is tall, yep. dude. Did you see that? Uh, it is tall enough. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. Let's There's go to some the little front. corner shelves. All right, we're gonna skip up here. Up to the front. All right. So this toilet is actually behind the door. Alrighty. And so I'm going to leave Lisa out there. Alrighty. Okay. There's not a room in here for the both of us, but as you can see, there's plenty of room, guys. So this bathroom is great. Right across here is your sink. Again, lots of countertop space. You got doors and drawers. Right. This one does have a medicine chest. I can see my entire head in there, which is great. Cubby down. Um, we'll I'm good. Awesome. Yep. Um, the, the bubble is just in the front, as you can see, but there's plenty of height. Um, in the back, I'm a little tough, but if I was going to use the back of the shower, it's because I'm sitting. And you saw exactly how. And so this doesn't bother me. Bet. Moving down, going back to doing the, the fifth wheel shuffle. Yep. Okay. Um, this looks to be the 70 by 80, so I'm not going to measure it. Okay, 70 by 80. Got your shelves up top. Got your power up top. Right. You got your six doors on this side. Mm -hmm. Plenty of place for the man size TV. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm putting a big TV in the bedroom. There's the man size TV yep. base. Washer dryer. Look at that. And a nice big cabinet with also full length mirrors. Mm -hmm. Right. If you're dressing up to go somewhere nice, you can make sure you're all looking pretty. Yeah. So there you yeah. go. We just put that on the list. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so let's go ahead and go look at that other one. Uh, what are you thinking? Yeah, they're like it too. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So we have a comment from Hugh. Says I don't have access to this many manufacturers, and I live to see so many more with your dedication in the past few days. Thank you. 
Thanks, buddy. We appreciate that. Yeah. You know what that means. And thank you. She says she agrees. Tips to subscribe to the channel. That's your payment. <laughs> <laughs> And I know a lot of YouTubers talk about that, but that's honestly, that's if you didn't know, that's what drives the channel, mm -hmm. right? Once you get subscribers, it, it, it tells the YouTube algorithm people like what you're doing, and then they, and YouTube takes your video and puts it in front of more people. That's how the channel just grows organically, and that's that's what counts, okay? Um, it, you know, it, it's it j just, we never talk about money because we don't do this for money, but it costs us money. Mm -hmm. We've taken off work, so we don't have money there. It costs if we the camping and the food that we have to spend here heck it costs us 44 dollars to eat those crappy burgers <laughs> and, and we do it because we love it. i mean this is playing these cost money to do. Thank you. absolutely we really do love it thank you so much That's what to we had to tell us we were going to love must be going out your uh, it is flashed red a couple oh, of times. Oh, okay. So that means we're about done. If you guys stop hearing me, let me know. Okay. So this is the three eight five seven BR. Three eight five seven BR. Your weight, as you can see, fourteen one four three. Hitch uh, carrying capacity twenty seven fifty seven. Okay. We're gonna be hunting that starts right on the other side. Of the at that bump out there and goes to the back. Okay. Storage up here in the front. Assuming again 30 pound propane tank. Dragon fly lithium batteries on board. Nice. Okay. If you so didn't solar. know, right, Montana's part of Keystone. Mm. Every RV Keystone makes comes with, with uh, solar on board. Every single one. 200 or 400 amps. And it, it's called Solar Flex. It's, it's, it's like a plug and play. It's almost DIY, meaning if it comes with 200 and you want it to be 400, you can just plug it in mm -hmm. the panel. All the wiring's there, all the mounts are there. It's very, very simple. Okay? Uh, if you went to, to the max capacity, by the way, you can power the entire coach to include air conditioning off your solar. Yes. Okay? Nice outdoor uh, kitchen, two burners. I'd rather see a griddle, but it's okay. Um, micro fridge, sink. There's a little, is that a drawer? I think the, it is. A compartment to access yes. the plumbing. Okay. Uh, and then we're going to move on. Okay. So you can see price, by the way, one, six. Moving in. Nice look at the back. Yeah, nothing. So we're using slides, conversational sofas. Okay. One of the things on our list um, is to have places for more than two people. We're in our place, okay? Because we f uh, frequently entertain, um, not but we entertain enough that we've only two chairs, and we only have the dinette next to the two chairs. It makes it hard to have a conversation with people. So we want this, especially when the kettle grows, mm -hmm. and we're going places. Some things at cities around the country. So bad, I am. Thank you. Before with the back that goes back and the feet, real nice. And they're they're not leather. They're a different fabric, so they're much more durable. Um, when we were uh, off camera, we were speaking to a rep, one of the manufacturer's reps, that were talking about the change of fabrics. That leathery fabric, it seems to fall apart. I'll show you. Anyway, moving on. Got off my little soapbox. Three seats over there in the sofa. Come turn the bed. Beautiful. You've got your molding as well that goes all the way around the coach with your LED accent lights which are nice. Um, I wonder if you could change colors on those. That would be kind of sweet. That would be. I don't right? know. Nice little light above the island too mm -hmm. which is awesome. Yep. Same sort of 50 inch TV sound system and uh, and fireplace down at the bottom like before mm -hmm. um, and your 
up above, which is big. Liners. Yeah, from right. Oh, uh, it's just, oh, oh it's You <laughs> got your tradition. Um, not, not a bank cat, but a dinette, okay? The other chairs are probably up past, okay? And then we got our kitchen. We got yep. the same our which personality. Um, you got the, the the drying rack in here. Yeah, well, I like that. Yeah, solid surface. Again, countertop. Uh, the the cabinetry underneath is pretty much the same as it had been. Um, Gary on this time. Yeah. See, this is a convention. Oh, nice. Burner gas stove and of oh, yes. Um, there is a little bit of storage here. We do. The nice. test. The Glass. test. We have the test in any of the Montanas. Okay. Not terrible, but it, it thin. The, the shelf isn't huge, so I don't think you would have a problem. But it, it would just it would be so easy if they just put one more piece of wood. Right. Right. Right there. <laughs> so if they are heavy, right? Are. Put some and good. Anyway. Just Okay, side <laughs> now, by side. This refrigerator, you locked, it is locked, it's I locked. see. This refrigerator, you were able to get the refrigerator and the freezer with a slide in. Yep. Look Which at is that. Nice. Yeah. This, show us. This is the mid bunk. Actually, there's another one. There is another. But it's also. An Look at that, Lisa. This, there's, there's an upper bunk, this, but it looks into this room as well. Yes, this is this is a model that in the past um, this bunk went area all went around. all the way down, and you had a just a shorter area with the sofa, just a small slide. And what they did was they they the smaller that it gives you so much more, more space, headroom. and it opens up the room as as the yeah, the loft. Would be right. Claustrophobic, but now you don't, mm -hmm. which is really. And nice. like you said, this you can use this as an office. You've got yeah, the nice, nice desk. desk. We yes. put our printer on there. Yeah, this is mm -hmm. nice. Right. Plus, you do have you know cabinetry. Cabinetry and stuff. Yeah, absolutely. All right, let's move on. You yeah. Mid office. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, where your controls are. Yep. And back at some. from that toilet oh my God. a little uh, actually a big trap nice it's pretty big yeah it goes way back in there that way okay. we'll see <laughs> storage underneath here. Okay. Is it here? Uh, I'm not sure. We were in this one. This is uh and appear to be those floor plans. Was it? Maybe that was it, just this one here, three eighty five BR. Mm, okay. 
we well, can we pick told whatever. them we were going to do one more, so we let's do that. Whatever. I said, let's go look. Okay. Then. You know what? Let's not. We've okay. done a bunch of those. Let's do a passport. We haven't done any passports. This is the, or have we? We did, do we do passports the, the first day? I think day? we did, um, we did media the day, I day, believe. Media day. Yeah. Okay. Then we have one other thing then. All Sorry. right. We have. But we're twenty-eight QB. Look, I only weigh sixty-five hundred and forty-four pounds. Awesome. Show price: forty thousand one hundred and thirty-one bucks. Okay, and look, we're also solar powered. All right. So let's go in and take a look. Before we go in, you do have a nice big storage area right here. Don't forget it's Asdell siding. Nice big storage with an electric You electric mm -hmm. level is actually the button for it. Okay? There's all the way almost to the back. It covers all the way until you get to your outdoor kitchen. So we just got a little griddle here. Some extra stuff to put your plates and stuff while you're cooking. You've got a little micro fridge. Okay? And a shelf in there. Okay? There's no ladder to get to the back. Okay. Uh, meaning uh, no ladder to get to the roof, but there's that Lippert connection for that telescoping ladder. So I my like guess that is telescoping ladder. It, it comes with a telescoping ladder, it's just not permanently mounted, which is not a bad thing, so people just can't crawl up there on their own. Yeah. Tire mounted on the back. So let's go in, and we are rapidly running out of time. All right, yeah, look at this, wow. Yeah, just another. Oh, nice. I, I loved. This is a little bit more woody, mm -hmm. right? You get a little bit more woody, okay? All right, so right when you walk in, there's a door right here. I don't know what it's for, let's look. Okay, it actually goes into the bedroom, so we'll go into the bedroom in a minute, okay? So as you continue to walk in, here's your sofa, mm -hmm. okay? Now this will pull out to become a bed, okay? This isn't leather, it's not a recliner, it's just a sofa, okay? Next to here, oh, which there are USB charging ports right here in the back. Oh, look of at the, that. Yeah. All right. Over here is your bank kit. Mm hmm Okay. Um, folds down and become a bed, right? You just take this off the poles, poles come out, and uh, the, the top sits on these little black things, and then you have another bed here, okay? Um, yeah, very traditional sort of setup this way. Mm hmm Behind Lisa is the kitchen. Yeah. Okay. So we'll, might as well start here. We've got the uh, refrigerator Ever here. Chill. Yep. All right. 12 volts. Um, moving on over, we've got our Greystone microwave. We have a, um, a three burner suburban stove with an oven. Okay. Um, we have That's our. Okay, can you leave it there? It's, it's, it's I just wanted to basin. see. It is there single basin. Underneath that, we do have some uh, nice cabinet space there. Yep, some, got drawers some drawers as well. And up the top, let's not forget those. Right. Okay. Which, by the way, I didn't cover it when we were sitting on the sofa. The TV's over there. Mm -hmm. It's really not a prime position for watching TV, okay? It's going to have to cock your head around a little bit, okay? Um, as we get here to the back, <laughs> oh, y'all know what time it is. All right, so um, I am maxed out in here. In fact, my feet are probably back just a little bit more than I would normally have them. Um, at the edge. I'm at the edge of being okay with it, okay? So, mm, my height is six foot four, maybe not, okay? Next to me um, is the, uh, is that high? It does appear to be high, yeah. Yeah, it feels kind of high. Mm -hmm. All right, your sink, got you an extra. tall man sink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a little cubby down here. There's storage underneath, okay? Um, we do have a medicine chest, a couple of mirrors I can see from here down. Um, the shower is a tub and it's raised, but the bubble is in a perfect spot. This is a, does have a barrel roof. Yep. The only problem for me, and it's just me, is again being a big big guy, broad shoulder wide stance, when we have a tub, my, my foot is normally further out and the bottom of the tub curves in just a little bit. You see the shadow of my hand? And so it's, it's forcing me to sort of Buckle my knees a little bit. My knees would normally be like that, but 
it's forcing me to come in a little bit. So for a tall person, that is uncomfortable, okay? From a height standpoint, it's great. But because it's a tub, it's a little uncomfortable. Now there's a reason why it's a tub. Because this is a bunkhouse. This is a family RV. It's not just for couples. This is for mom and dad and the kids. In fact, this thing could actually comfortably sleep six, right? So over here are two bunks. So one person in each bunk. Over here is a, a bunk and a table that converts into another. Because here's your bunk here. Beneath there is a table, right? So if you're seating six, you can seat four at the dinette and two in here. Nice. Right? Yeah. But that converts down to be a bed. You've got some storage here for clothing and such, right? Mount the TV up here, all right, which is great. So this, this isn't a couple's coach. This is for the whole family. Just outside the door of the bathroom, there's some more storage here. Okay, it's all right. I was going to open it up. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I walked right by it. I didn't even see it. <laughs> yeah, I know. And then we get into the bedroom. Now, remember, there's two doors. There's a door here, and there's a door here. Now, there's typically a reason why manufacturers do that. Why don't you go to this door, Lisa, and I'll go in this one. They do that because the bed is so long, it's challenging to get to the other side of the bed. Okay? Now, from a measurement size, it says king size bed. Okay? I'm telling you they're lying. It is not a king size bed. This is 66 by 75. 66 by 75. It's not even close to an RV King. No. Okay, it's an not. RV King would be 70 by 80, I believe, minimal. Yeah, okay. so it's a little bit wider than a queen, but it's only as long as a full size. Now, it's not even as long as But a I queen. want to show you something. If I pull this up a little bit, Lisa, mm -hmm. okay, you see the wood ends here? There's wood sticking out on this side a little bit. Okay. You, you could go wider easily. Okay. Okay? You could also, if you wanted, this could extend out more. Okay, you just yes. add a, 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 a longer piece. And by the way, this does not go up. This oh, it is does not. There's no storage underneath okay. there. Okay? It's permanently mounted. Mm -hmm. The storage is underneath. Oh, would you look oh, at wait that? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Would what? You, There's handles you, here. What? What is this? I, I don't know. There's, what? There's handles. That is Can open. you try to pick this up? That is open all the way. There, look on the side. See where I'm grabbing? There's a handle. There is a handle. What does this do? Is there? Are there oh, pistons? Hang on. Fix the uh, camera there. You're Sorry, pressing guys. buttons. Pressing buttons. Come on. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Okay. I apologize. <laughs> All right, ready? Okay. Grab the handle. All right. Is it on a piston? It's not on a piston. Okay. I don't know what that's for, guys. The point I'm trying to make is you could put a wider piece of wood and you could get a king mattress in here, but it is not currently a king. But that's why you'd want the two doors, because if you put a king, you, you, couldn't even, you couldn't even shimmy. I don't know. Can you see me just shimmying? <laughs> Right? If you had a, a true king in here, you couldn't shimmy. But you have two doors. So you can access the bedroom from this side, and then you can access it from the other side. Did that make sense? Hopefully that made sense. Okay? So come on over here, Lisa. All right. Slide in there. I'm sliding. So that is all we have time for, guys. All, <sighs> all we have time for, right? Oh, my good Lord. Now, I didn't want to um, overlook, Jordan um, said what you guys do on the show. No one has ever done it, really. I subscribe to a lot of RV channels, but on the Tampa show, you guys are the best. Oh, Thumbs thank you. All the time to you guys. Thank you so much. Um, Angela seconded that. Don't move. Oh, you I'm sorry. You keep on sliding the camera. I didn't realize <laughs> I was sliding it. <laughs> um, so, yes, and then, then Angela reminded everybody um, uh, to, to um, thumbs up, share, and, and comment. Thanks, guys. Um, thank you for that. We appreciate that. We really do. Yes, absolutely. Um, oh, yeah. Very We need to have some seating, yes. Um, Okay, and then Angela was commenting when uh, we lost reception for a little yeah, bit. Yeah, just for a couple of seconds, yeah. Yes, and now we have low battery up here. Yep, so yeah, we're, we're it about is, to die. It is time. There we go. All right, so... <laughs> low uh, battery signals going off everywhere. <laughs> thank you, everybody. I don't know what the final count is. Um, as I mentioned, we are going to put all these videos up one at a time. I'm, I'm pretty sure we probably, I don't know, 
got close to 100 RVs. Probably did. I, I, I don't know. Yeah. Probably pretty close. And um, to, and I don't, I don't think anybody has covered that many before. I don't know. Um, so yeah, maybe we set a record. I, again, I don't know. Um, but uh, we, we enjoy it. And hopefully we're covering them enough for you guys to see what you need to see. We just don't want to run through them to get numbers. That's not what we're here for. But because there's so many people walking around during the day and stuff, it, it's hard to really spend the amount of time we would normally do um, when we're at a dealership or something like that when there's nobody around, right? Because then we're able to spend some extra time, okay? So uh, just spectacular. Thank you so much, guys. So thank you again, Jordan and Angela. We thank you. we are uh, we are calling it quits. This is it. Yeah. Uh, we are officially closing the <laughs> 2023 uh, Florida RV Super Show. Mm -hmm. um, it physically actually does 100% close in 45 minutes. So they'd we, kick us out anyway. Yeah, <laughs> we've made it to just about the end, but the phones were about to die any second now anyway. So um, we thank you all again. We appreciate you. Much love to everybody. Right. You know, much love, you know, see, I'm horrible at this. <laughs> you do a better heart than I do. Yeah, there's, there's a heart in there somewhere, I promise you. <laughs> all right. And until uh, we see you all again on the road, which we're going to be on the road, we hope you all are going to be safe. Thank you so much.